All right, so what's up, man? So today we got Rico Reckless in the building, man. What's up? Reckless. Uh huh. Just walking off. I think I'm everybody's favorite or everybody. I'm the one everybody like to hate, so I'm your favorite one to hate. So I'm still your favorite, I guess, because you yeah. hate. I'm the fuck. Yeah. I don't know. Shit. I ain't looking for no friends. I want them ends. I'm fucking red. My bitch on another bins. We ain't doing that. Huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah,
That's about crazy. smart in them. Like I can, you can see. I don't know how the people can't sometimes see this shit. Like you can see them and just see that they got like certain qualities to them. Even with CJ, I told CJ he's gonna be mad. We just, I just talked CJ last night, and the okay. conversation was, man, f- all that negative beef people be trying to throw them. Man, you can rap, get the money. You already can get the money. All that shit, like people want to try to, man, get the money. This shit is about the money. Sometimes we let all the edges throw us off, but what is, what is we doing this for? Like, I'm not fucking out here doing this so I can go back to the trenches, nigga. I'm going this, doing this shit so I can live. You know what I'm talking about, though? Yeah, no, I know exactly what you're talking about because let's be real. You didn't have, you didn't have ups, downs, and a go at it, man. What? And nigga, I didn't, nigga, I didn't, I'm, I didn't came from, I'm talking about poor as you ain't seen a nigga as poor as me. Nigga, I'm talking about poor look at me like, nigga, you, like, nigga, me and poor was getting into it. Like, what are you talking about? Like, I was poor as f- Man, they're like, so, like, I tell people, I'm from the trenches. Like, I'm from, like, nigga, like, I'm from nothing. So, anything is a come up to me, nigga. F- you talking about, nigga, give me one dollar. I feel like I done won. And what's crazy about this, and why, what makes me so happy about doing this interview, man, why I've been cheesing, man, is I, you're, like, one of the people out of that Chicago drill rap scene that I watched your whole journey, I feel like. <laughs> I'm talking about those old Zach TV interviews. Merch. Warrior Shower. I Merch. watched it all, bro. All right. Like, so, Zach. it's kind of. It's kind of weird because we all this coming into fruition, you know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah. Well, yeah. I like your handshake, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> From, uh, yeah. That's like, dope, man. That's you dope. You know what it is, though, gang? Um, gang, I'm just a nigga that was, like, trial and error. What should I do? Like, I, I'm from, like, like I don't, like, we, we got time, we chilling. But people don't understand it. Like, I just, like, in my, okay, I moved to an area. Mm-hmm. 75th of Stewart, as we were, I moved over there. And it's just, I moved over there. Like, I already knew how to rap. People knew I knew how to rap type of shit, but I wasn't rapping type of shit. Like, I was just, I rap for phone when we get high and shit. It was my nigga Stain. Like, like, shout out. Like, it was like Stain, like, was pressing that shit. Is Stain still in jail? Yeah, Stain got 18 months left. Okay. He's had to beat the murder. He's got, they gave him like 19 years for the murder. He already had like seven years in. You know, you're going to do half in Chicago because it was second degree, so it was 50%. So okay. he got like 18 months left. He's going to be back. Wow. But Le Mister, R.I.P. Le Mister, Le Mister was in my hood, like a famous rapper. Like Le Mister was like Chief Keith in our hood, like famous. Like, so with me being kind of like more outside and like being older, motherfuckers from my, from my hood was like, bro, you got to rap. Like, like, you see that 75th of my shit? Like, yeah. like people be getting mad over some old meme shit from the hood, but 75th only, that shit forever. So, so you but, still, you still claim Wooga World? I right? mean, I'm, I'm, of course, I, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't lay my, I didn't lay my lick down over there. It's for, it's on my arm. It's gonna forever be there. Now, if they don't like me or some people don't feel something, I feel they got to deal more for them than what they mama did for them. Yeah. So it's like, nigga, you gonna hate cause you gonna hate anyway. But, it was, it's what it is though. Like, Stain, Stain, the reason why I rap from over there, cause one time me and Stain, RIP D Boy, nigga, I played D Boy some shit, nigga, and D Boy just act like it was the hottest shit ever. He ended up telling murder and Stain, Stain asking that man, let me hear that shit. I put this shit Stain style. Like, nah, you gotta shoot a video of this. You gotta be rapping from the block. You gotta want the band. I'm like, man, we got Le Mister. He, nah, f- that Le Mister ain't, he ain't outside enough. He ain't, nah, you gotta do it. So I'm like, man, so they kind of pressed all that shit. Like, I really just jumped in some shit though. Two okay. control, like if niggas really want to know two be shit, I just was just like, it is what it is. Like I live here, this was going on. Two be told, it was a lot of a lot of shit. I ain't even give a fuck about two like beefs and shit. People in tour, I ain't getting no fuck when I'm gonna ride with four them. This is my people, so it like, but yeah, that's yeah. All this Rico reckless shit, man. And Chino Cash on the stain fault and fuck, Uncle Troop fault, man. They <laughs> pressed this shit, and then like my mama, they pressed this. shit. I was fine with being a regular little Ronnie man. Hey, but you 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 built a career off and of Trade Five Seven too. RP Nine to Trade Five Seven on my phone, but I built a career. Hey, everybody got their own journey. You know what I'm saying? Their story. What's the crazy? You want to hear something crazy? What's up? Sometime I wake up and it's crazy as f- I might have like how the f- did I get here? like like man like I be God be good. But I'm here like sometimes I'm just like what the f- like damn God like you did that. I don't know how to. You did that, but you did that shit. I'm gonna hey, keep going. I believe. Hey, Yo. get it, get it, man. Now we talked about your new song that you just did with Lil. Oh, uh, that's that. Uh, so we know what's gonna happen. But I'm not just cap off because the as a cap. It was rapping. I was rapping, but she liked that song. She like, man, you get my <laughs> think I can rap good as. Fuck. Like she like my best. But with my wife, I'm sorry for cussing. Sorry, ladies, don't call. But. She, my wife, she like my, she a strong supporter. She like, oh, cause she seen me go to the studio so much. And she like really listen to my lyrics and she be like, you snapping. Like nice. she's like, and you, and she like, and she not new to this shit. Like she know, everybody know her date and they know what's going on. So like far as it like, she like, 
she didn't sing some of the best rappers. So I tell my dog, so yeah. how to support the way you support? Sometimes she can put something. She tell my dumb ass like, babe, can to the side. This has got nothing to do with us being sexual. On some, on some business standpoint, as a friend standpoint, you hard as f- and you need to do this and walk the bam. So I think having like I got a strong black woman behind me. So shout out her too. Like I think that Message. that's very essential. Message. Like a, a career for like us as being black men. Like especially when nigga, I just look at hell and shit. Mm. So like my man, I'm like man, babe, I, I, I don't want to fuck out no more. Let me just be with you. Like and she's like, come <laughs> on, we were like, we were locked in it since. Hey man, and it's the crazy part behind the scenes. Every rapper and everybody that I've talked to, it's the same situation, man. You would think. That they'd be out there wild and not not you just had it, bro. Yeah. Off this rap shit, bro. If I show you how my DM go, all you do is this. You DM with Mr. Amos. She come back, bloop, you where you at? She drop low, you go f- you never have the quarter. Mm-hmm. So like it's times different now. Like I break us down all the time. Like they make it the girls make it easier nowadays because they don't make you gotta court them. You don't gotta you just gotta have a d- and pull up. You f- and okay, yeah, they don't even you, you, you just saw the sexy red, you don't gotta wear no condom. <laughs> yeah, don't you know what I'm gonna f- condom? They, man, Man, any bitch pull a condom out of front of there and say, oh, I'm allergic to latex. I, yeah, I know you are. You see this, all this fucking money coming in my pocket. I've been allergic to latex, too. <laughs> what you talking about? Like, it's crazy, though. And no, I am not FBG butter. This is not no motherfucking lean. This is water. I'm healthy. I'm not going to act like this lean. and will let them know this water. So what motivated this change, man? I hate to just go there, but what motivated the change in more health I'm, conscious? I'm like 30, bro. Like, my kids, they got old as hell, man. I'm only 17 years older than my son. I had my son out 17, but to him, he, nigga, you old that nigga. Sit your bitch head down. I'm bro, stop telling me. Like, he like... So it was like, I be laughing myself like, damn, I am old, huh? So like, but then like, when people see me, they, you don't look like, what the man? And then you see on the computer, you think I was young. But like, nah, I want to be here forever. At least, like, at least give me to like 95. So that, that's like another 60 plus. So like, let me do the, the proper uh, preparation for my body so I can know I'm going to be here for a long time. Now, if one of yeah. these that nigga try to catch me, then that's different. But at least I was healthy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, no, I get it. Like, no, I get like, it. Man. Like, I don't I like working out. And it brings a different energy too, man. Even though you're already a very energetic cat, you know what I'm saying? Uh, it, it's just when somebody, you could you could kind of almost tell when somebody's living a healthy life, you know what I'm saying? They cut out a lot of the vices and things yeah, like I, that. I, yeah, like, what's crazy is, you know, I love smoking too. You know, like, oh, I said that weed. I love smoking weed. And like, I had to then, they're like, uh, like, even with the weed situation, like, man, I smoke the f out of weed. Man, I'm at, like, it's merged that. You can ask anybody. I'm at like a pound a week by myself. I don't need no help for this. Shit. I'm talking about Zah, and I, and I ain't talking about like no lows. I'm talking about real Zah. Expensive weed. I can smoke a pound by myself in a week or all day long. So it's like every week it's a pound, it's a pound, it's a pound. It's like sometime you ever seen what it be, what that week be like? You would think it's Monday, it's Friday. You would say it's why has hell. <laughs> they just be passing you out. It's be. I'm sometimes like, no, I got too much good shit going on. I don't need to be the half on time. Yeah, so, so you don't want lose, you don't want to lose no time. Oh uh, yeah. I, I mean, these moments, man, these memorable. I'm making real moments, like with my kids and like with my girl and with the music and my life. Was, I didn't do so much on my son and my daughter. Sometimes when I go watch like my old, like, you know, ever like some shit, like your um, Instagram archives, so you can go back and mm-hmm. you can see a lot of shit posts you on Instagram. But I did hella shit, gang, but I was so high, you wouldn't even think I did some of the shit I did. Like, man, you gang, I got so high. I didn't do did some shit. That like when I speak on it, you wouldn't even believe it because it was, it'll sound so far fetched or so like, but nigga, I'm talking about nigga, I didn't live too. I didn't live. I didn't woke up in nigga, I didn't woke up in Paul Pierce's house one time. Like nigga, <laughs> I didn't walk up, nigga, I didn't woke up, nigga, at a, I didn't woke up, nigga, in Molly Mall crib one time, nigga, and motherfucking Ray J and motherfucking, um, and who was that? Who was yeah, Ray J and Jim Mike and they were arguing about who hit it first. Like, I didn't, we're like, <laughs> like, 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 I'm, I'm talking about like, I'm from, it's a, that ain't there. I, mean, I, I hit my the like, I'm like, like, I so you into a Marley Marl from uh, Vegas? Yeah, I'm just thinking oh, yeah. like, I didn't, I didn't, man, I, I can tell you some crazy, like, I didn't, your body so high. Like, you gotta think, it's one time, nigga, you gotta think, like, it's, nigga, I got so high one time, nigga, my first time meeting Skeeman as a slum guy, he brought me out to his rolling loud set with him. I didn't know who the fuck he was, I was so high. Everybody like, miss that nigga. I'm like, my ass here, like, ah, he cool. Like, everybody like, nah, you sure. Like, I'm so I'm saying, like, it's a, like, for it's a lot of high shit. Sometimes when I go back, I look like, damn, I did that. Well, damn, I did that. I went down like, I'm like, damn, I did that. Like, now I go back and look like, damn, how, how was I? So, like, now I'm at a point like, nah, f- that. I got to remember some of this shit. 
Cause like when I be in jail, mm-hmm. you know, people remember my life more than me. So they're like, nigga, you don't remember that time we was recording me? I was like, man, I'm always recording me. Hey, <laughs> yes, nigga, you tripping. I'm like, oh damn, I was. She, I, I, like people be. Yeah. So something Everybody. that we, man, like, and don't get me wrong, shout out to Smoke with Smoke, but I'm like, I ain't just me. Let me see what's going on. I'm, I'm turning on my own. Like I got my own energy. So I feel like sometimes that we or the drugs, the lean, the XP, or sometimes it kind of dim my light. Mm-hmm. I'd be so happy. I'd be like, it's like the regular me, I'm always like, you know, turn. Because so you think so high, it's kind of turn me down. You think you, you're not able to, to, you know, take in those experiences back in the day because, you know, you might have been. I mean, no, nah, don't get me wrong. I take them in and I'm blessed and I'm thankful. But it's just be like, mm-hmm. I did a lot of drugs. <laughs> like, I did a lot of, I drank a lot of lean. I bought a lot of XPF. I smoked a lot of weed. So they want to call them being respectful to that. Yeah, it's all good. I, I smoked a lot of weed. Now it's just like, I just want to make a lot of money and just like, just keep, keep seeing my kids think I'm old and then they try to run. I can catch them because I'm healthy as hell, you know? Yeah, yeah. That's nah. a different type of fun, you know? Yeah. Ain't that wrong with that, bro? Ain't that wrong with that? I'm actually, I like the growth, man. Right. I, 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 I People, love it. I, I, okay, and then that's another thing too. We finna get into it, wait. Let's do it, right? Cause yeah, I'm only on Fulham Gray. It's all that on Fulham Gray, nigga. I read every comment. I see everything. Like you know how niggas gonna act like they don't see shit. I see everything. Like I know other rappers see everything. They just don't. Like me, I'm the type of depending on how I'm feeling. You might mess me at three, three, three o'clock in the morning. You. I'm like, somebody, like, you too. <laughs> you're like, oh, she even smarter. I, just, I love you. I might love you too. Like, I want to say it type of thing. You want, like, I'm like one of them. So it's like, I see a lot of shit and I respond sometimes to shit I'm not supposed to, but I don't care because I'm a real person. Mm-hmm. But like, people don't like my growth game. For me, reading some of these comments, I just read some. My, one, some of my friends just called me on FaceTime reading hell of my comments like do you read your comments I'm like yeah They're like can I come read something to you I'm like, yeah and they're like man Rico man he man like Rico we always tell him the truth and we don't want to believe him because sometimes he be kind of goofy with it or animated but folks say it's always been telling the truth about some shit but we mad because he want to act like a fucking civilian now and he don't want to fucking get on people's ass or he don't want to be turned or he don't want to be into the beef and shit and I'm like I got it. yeah I ain't like I'm blessed. I didn't really beat the trenches. I didn't beat the system. Like, I'm free. I'm alive. My kid's healthy. My mama good. I'm out the way. I'm the only black nigga on my block. Like, leave me the f*** alone. Like, don't get me wrong. I'm gonna still put the music out for y'all real gang shit. Or y'all know this is my life. Like, but at the same time, I'm gonna, y'all gonna see the growth of my music and just for my life. Like, back in the day, for instance, I might just get on your ass for nothing. Now it's like, I'd be like, excuse me, sir. Please don't make me have to get her ass. <laughs> and then people be like, oh, well, he been through a lot of shit. We saw his ass get exposed. What? Exposed, nigga? I'm a real nigga. I didn't did shit to people. People didn't did shit to me, nigga. This shit real life, nigga. You think you you think you finna smack him off? I'm not finna smack you? You think you finna shoot him off? I'm not finna shoot you? This real life. So people sometimes be getting that missed school. Like, like rappers is so superheroed out that don't happen to them. Like, what you mean, nigga? Like, people right now tell me, like, you don't got security? Yeah, she my security right now. I'm on the grave. Try to run a point while driving. It's going to go down on this flight. But they're like, no, you need real security. What the band? I'm like, I, but I respect the law of the land when I go places. I'm not mm-hmm. looking for trouble. I'm not running from it, but I'm not looking for it. I'm showing love, all type of shit. I'm just a different type. So it's like, if I do go somewhere, you know, don't like some shit I said on one of these interviews, like, man, records, I don't like that shit in the interview. I feel like there was some. I right, well, there was some. And so what's up then? Like, I'm not finna be like, you know, like, yeah, right. all right, well, let's talk about it. Like, we can, I'm a man. We can have yeah. a fucking a debate, a discussion. Let's talk about it. You don't like what I said. Well, this is why I said it. Mm-hmm. Like, it's even right now with the when the, the term, knock you out of spitting your ass. People take that shit to hate. Like, people in my shit taking that shit to heart. Like, yeah, yeah you, man, you say about the man. Like, hold on, man. Shout out the LGBT community for I have. Like, <laughs> shout out them for, like, this, yeah, exactly. this, this some just some jail talking shit. Now, yeah. if y'all want to overtake it serious, then whatever. But we just talking shit. Now, don't get me wrong. I have seen before I get that shit. I'm kind of really wrong. Yeah. But we just be talking shit. Yeah, well, um, and, and I think a lot of people, they, take they, shit they took it in too far. They thought they, that you said, like, like you were making it seem like that happens to everybody. Nah, nah. You named a specific situation and where that happens. You know what I'm saying? It happens. Like, it's more, it's common, more common than you think. <laughs> but it's like, it ain't like, I ain't saying I'm going to be trying to spin your but at the same time, though, I say it to you quick, though, because, like, that's just the way to demasculate a nigga. Like, that's like, like, in New York, they say, man, suck my d-. Like, they're like, they, they, they quick to say that in New York. Like, you would talk yeah. to them, they, man, it's worth my money. Or suck my d-. 
Like they quick to say that. That's true. So like Chicago, like we we like they might don't say that. It's just some niggas like some this some, some motherfuckers fucked up in the head. Yeah. Why not knock you off spinning your shit? It's just a way to fuck some up off because you know like that up some up off like you know like and then like like what about what about that whole thing about robbing people with a with a Glock Dookie? You saw the video. You ain't seen Lil get hit with that Glock Dookie. I didn't see the Glock Dookie. See the Glock Dookie. I see me. Uh, no, I see which one. see the video when a nigga send down Lil J on the phone. We run up. Shooting with the Glock Dookie. Then, oh, oh, did they get the beating? Oh, yeah. That was, that was a Glock Dookie. Dookie okay, so that's a Glock Dookie. That's a Glock Dookie. Is a shit, pit, motherfucking nut, shaving cream, motherfucking magnet, whatever you can put, uh, whole milk, whatever you can cook, cop, and you let that shit sit. And you okay. let that shit just mix together and stink in there. It's going to put a hole in the bottle if you don't got it in the right bottle. Yeah. And like then, you disrespect them put it on them because then they got to go. Now you in, in jails, you don't get to take showers and shit like how you think you do. You might be in one jail where you might be taking a, a shower once a week, twice a week. This is my nigga hit you with that shit. You fucked up. Now you got to go, man, like, then you fucked up. Like, so it's like, yeah. it's kind of like just a way to fuck them up. It's like yeah. in jail, we got to think we're already in jail. So niggas is thinking about ways to really get under your skin and fuck you up. So saying shit or doing shit, like, man, knock you out, spin your way. That's just the way to, like, fuck a nigga up or, like, hit a nigga with a Glock Duke you up. That's a, like, like, you got to think, like, people that's all nigga, they fucked up. So, it's like, nigga trying to think of more ways to be more fucked up. But that yes, nah, that makes sense. That makes perfect sense. And, and, that but, and, to, and the, the think about the health risk in that, you know what I'm saying? Well, Somebody think, hit you in a... The health risk of being in jail, period. Yeah. So dirty as fuck. Gang, I didn't been in a jail before, nigga, when, when nigga, my toilet ain't work for nigga dinner. Two weeks and they still yeah. kept us in there. I'm yeah. talking about, I just, we got to put a motherfucker over it and we still got to piss and walk the man man nigga man jail is the one of the most dirtiest filthiest place i've ever been to nigga, now most, about, most of the time i know you've lived in major markets man you lived in la for a little bit yeah. right you lived in atlanta right and you, yeah. and you lived in chicago atlanta i stayed in atlanta la uh like cedar hill like dallas texas and like chicago it's what? like those county it seems like in those cities the county jails man they'd be worse than the prison so they get visited L.A. County busting, uh, cuz they want to squat with blood them. They want to, y'all gotta run that fade. Um, the Dallas, uh, Houston, J. Jail, oh, they kicking ass in there too. Like every jail, bro, they, we gotta think it's jail. Niggas have nothing new but fight every day, argue, fight. Like niggas ain't really trying to be cool. I don't get wrong, niggas trying to be cool. I am, but the dwell about the niggas are not trying to be cool. They're just like Chicago. Like, 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 they be busting. And I was gonna go to that point. I was like, you was at Cook County, which is famously, you know, notorious, man. Cook Bro, County Jail, you know? And I never ducked my sh. I never went to PC. I never not had a fight. If you wanted to fight me, we fought on that. And I'm from the grade, like, you wanted to fight me, we fought on that. Whether you had to try to snake me because you were scared for me to walk in the board pen, yeah. or whether you met me under the stairs, we got them his own. Okay. Ask anybody. People used to tell me this all the time, like, bro. You really walking around like this? Like, bro, like, you Rico Records, like, you ain't a PC, you out, like, you ain't worried about niggas trying to jump in and fight you? Do what the y'all gonna do. We gonna get them bitches on. Like, yep. I'm not ducking this shit. Like, I'm not ducking this shit. Like, this, like, 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 it's a video right now. They putting out from the jail this shit. And I was going, I was leading to that. You, you saw me, yeah. So we were going, that's exactly where I was going. So lately in Chicago, well, in the Chicago rap media and drill media and whatnot, on all the pages and everything, there's some pages, and there's one, I think it's called Chirac Rares. Yeah. And with my boy, you our Chirac Rare, maybe. I don't know where they getting that. What is wrong with phone them getting niggas out here talking about some, man, I don't wanna, I ain't the one over there. Yeah, I'm getting that multi over there. They got more fun getting that. Man, he jumped me. And you know, I'm telling you, I'm pressing charges. They got that motherfucker getting that. Bruh. I saw a video. We're going get a strip club that motherfucker. <laughs> um, we got strippers in jail. Oh, got strippers in that bitch. He ain't nothing throwing singles in there. They got folks in this bitch kissing, throwing singles in that bitch. I'm like, hey, don't know that. Yeah, that bitch. Three. What's crazy is, so he's putting out, he's getting footage. He told me. By using. He told me my footage was coming out before it came out. Oh, like, for real. And he tried to, like, be funny about it because I'm laughing at somebody else. He, oh, you want to laugh? I got a motherfucker trying to go inside your shit. Um, I yeah. didn't see that. I'm, I'm a share fighting. They're, they're, they're really good because, like like you said, three weeks ago, there was some footage that came out. And it was of you in yeah. jail. And I was, got it, it was a nigga from up north. Yeah. Name, I think his name, like they said, Bang. Bang. Yeah. Bang the hitter. It's that snake my bitch ass. Yeah. And see, you see, I ain't go, though. And yeah. you see 12. Is he got... You want me to break down the situation for you? Yeah, go ahead, go ahead. Because I, 
I, uh, just to just to set it up in the preface, this there was a video afterwards, you know, after the incident. Oh, and, and, about- and you basically you told the dude you was like, man, it was some hate, and that's all you said. You ain't what no. I was saying what no tell. What I tell yeah. her, you yeah. did what you supposed. He did. Be right here. People want me to. He did what he was supposed to do, gang. He saw me. He had to try to take off. He's supposed to did that. Forget it. I'm surprised. Like he's a. But let me break this down for y'all for the people who didn't watch the band, who them not seen the video. So this will happen right here. I literally just came from court. You see the sandwich in my hand. I just came from court. They was finna let me go home because it was a misunderstanding why I was in the county this day anyway. This was a probation violation. This back in like 2017 or something. Probation violation. Oh. But I really didn't violate. They just thought I violated. So I had to go to jail for a day. This one I would go to jail. Uh, fucking this not what I go. Who 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 my celly that night when I went to cause I, I got locked up that day. Man, match from uh from fucking no limit, man. See, okay. man, see money. That was my them. See money was my celly that night. Man, I, I end up going to court that morning. I'm come back. I'm leaving this shit. I'm trying to walk to the bullpen, and when I as soon as they open the door for for the bullpen, they get thrown out. Bing bing bing. He take out my whole shit. I got thrown up and smack. Hold on, I see that. On. Now peep this though. Okay, I'm like now, nah, nah, and this. Well, we got records for people finna get mad at me. Now, this is what this is what the interview finna get people finna get mad. I don't get no fuck, man. Practice this. I right. I don't res- I don't respect it though because if you in this jail, everybody know this jail. Why you ain't just let me walk in the bullpen and beat my ass? Like people right here, they was opening up the door for the bullpen. You tried to hit me in front of the police instead of letting me walk in there, and they gonna close the door. We can get them on for as long as we can until they come back. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. And as long as we can, could have been there now. Yeah. Ten minutes before it long as nothing about So he been on the crash out there. Yeah, no, he was, he, was, he was scared the door for real, and I'm not trying to take credit from him because I don't get no fuck. Like yeah, they, man, I don't man, look. I there for take a motherfucker's shirt. Look, I ain't trying to take credit from nobody gang but I gotta call a bitch a bitch when I see a bitch nah that was some bitch shit because you could've let me come in the bullpen you really could've beat my ass if you could've beat my ass but long story short he ended up selling a lot he ended up I'm talking to him like damn gang why you really let me come in there so we can get him on the right way he said gang my arm was up in the sling see if y'all go watch that shit his arm was in the sling oh really and he say this I couldn't let you walk in the bullpen gang cause my arm was in the sling you would've fought me for real you'd probably beat my ass <laughs> you know what I he was so honest I, about so it so I had to so I had to hurry up and punch you from the police because I couldn't fight you because I was in the sling, gang. I was like this. I kind of respected it because, but it was kind of like me personally, I would have fought you on that. I would have, man, would still let you walk in that bitch with one arm. And then this one from the, the internet up right here, I swear to God, babe, this one the internet up right here, I got to say it though. <laughs> Shout out up north. This is no diss to up north. R.I.P. Young Pappy. I got to repeat this again. I was locked up with Young Pappy. I met Young Pappy on the bus leaving from Cook County Jail going to Stateville in March of 2014. Go get the, whatever y'all got to get. I'm going to get food this shit. March, I think it was March 2014, March or April 2014. Mm-hmm. Um, Going from Cook County Jail to Stavery, it was like a 45 minute ride from, from, from Chicago to, to Joliet with a jail at. Okay. And we handcuffed it. The whole time we on the bus, it's a young rapper. Well, the whole time we in the bullpen for the young bus, everybody like, hey, rapper, it's a nigga named Young Pappy. He raw as hell with the raps. Let him rap for you. But so I already had, so I already had a song called How I'm Rocking Out. So I was fake Chicago famous. I had this shit, How I'm Rocking In with a pill man in my need to flat. So okay. I'm faking on all. A hundred thousand, and this back in the day, you hear me? Yeah, so like, I'm it. famous in jail. So, but he he wasn't known at all. So he like, man, records. Let me uh, let, let me rap for you. So he rap for me, nigga. Raw as I swear to God, I'm, <laughs> he rap like little herb mixed with. Like he was raw, like so. I'm damn, you raw as hell. Okay, rap that shit. The old bus sad. He rapping. I'm rapping. I'm from the grave. The old bus rapping. This bus and I'm from the grave. So now we get the state real now. Oh man, you my nigga, okay? I'm gonna grab you. He man, record. Look, I'm from up north, nigga. Well, nigga, my name Young Pappy, nigga. We walk the band, nigga. We PG, nigga. We, I'm but nigga, f- with me. I said, gang, I'm, I'm, I'm not f- with you, gang. I'm from the grade. So now we in a bullpen. He's still rapping that now because we, I got a new crowd now. He wanna rap for them now. See, see, uh, see, they didn't was up on that too. Like, see, they was there. There's a hell of different people in the jail, all type of shit. But so he rapping that bean. He going crazy. One nigga that he rapping this shit, he, I guess, was an op. So he get up, like, so why he rapping? He wait, what you just said, little nigga? So now he nigga, why he rapping? And she say what, nigga? Nigga, I'm an L nigga. I'm a. I think he said he a loke or something. Nigga, I'm a loke nigga. Nigga, you said dial. Nigga, stay your ass up, nigga. That man, your pappy sitting right next to me, gang. Mm-hmm. He man, stay your ass up, nigga. Nigga, you rapping that? Stay your ass up. I knew it like Bonnie O's ass, but that still ain't no matter, man. You rapping that? 
man, you gotta fight that man. I'm so I tell him, man, you better get up, gang. I'm I'm low key like I'm like that man, get up, gang. I'm from the ground. I'm from the ride with you, like, but you gotta have to do something. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah, he act like he don't want to stand up. That dude walk up and poop the fuck out, young happy. Oh my son, my daughter, I'm not lying. I'm right here like, damn, he beating your ass. <laughs> do something back. I'm from the ground, he ain't doing shit back. I'm one of my dog, he beats good ass. Still ain't doing shit back. So now I'm like, damn. So now the police coming. So I ain't finna do shit. You ain't even. You don't, on my son, my daughter, if he could throw a punch back, I would have probably helped him. Just off the shit, we'd rap like that. But I'm not yeah. finna fight for you, my nigga. Like, yeah, yeah. I, I ain't. I ain't. This ain't mine, kiddo. I ain't doing that. <laughs> nigga, work your out. Nigga. Anyway, they, that happened. So the police come, get him out there. They walk the band. Now, if he's right here. Now, this is where people finna get mad, but I don't give no f because I'm not trying to make friends. I like making bread. Like, so if he was like, yeah. Now, y'all saw how I, he bust me first, right? And I wasn't even paying attention, right? Yeah. But you still saw me swing back, right? Yeah. You see me swing back right around? Yeah, I see you, you swing, swing back. back. When your back was on the thing, I see you swing. Okay, so people was like, yeah. That's why he fought me. That's the only reason why he tried to fight me. Well, he tried to, because he mad at me because I said that about Pappy. But if Pappy would have deal with the I would have did, it would have never got said. Uh, nah, so now who the wrong guy now? Now I'm bogus for saying what happened. If Pappy would have fought back, I would have never said what I said to make them get mad. Like they tried to like make sense. Like, I don't, cause I don't be like, that's all it was about. It was a miscommunication about what I said about Pappy. That man, you said fuck him. I'm like, I don't know. I, I probably did the town. You know, I'd be, I probably did, man. I probably did. You know what? I probably did. Like, man, he ain't fight back, man. Fuck dude. Yeah. I with his music, but on some street shit, he ain't fight back, man. Fuck dude. It, so crazy. that was when the uh, when, when, when other brothers called me and they tried to jump me a long time ago. Like, damn, you said, fuck dude. You said, fuck my brother. Like, look, Pete, this. I fucked with your brother, gang. What? He ain't fighting back, fuck dude. What do I know? So they tried to jump me. They couldn't even give me. It was like five of them, gang. It like You're they, talking about t so It was like they fought a pit bull, gang. They yeah. couldn't even do shit with me like five of them. If it was five of us, six of us, we were out there. Well, we would have stumped you out and fight spin your shit. You see how that shit go? They didn't do nothing. Like, they couldn't even get me on the ground. Like, they couldn't get me on the floor. And, like, with that stress, I'm not trying to bring up old shit, but I'm going to state my truth. You know what I know? Yeah, all like, that stuff has been coming out the so, last three weeks. Yeah, so, you know so, long, all long, so long story short, it's just more like the, I, the hate started from a nigga not fighting back. All the folks rap good as one of the best rappers that I done heard, mm -hmm. but it's just the fact of the matter that he let somebody punch him and then punch them back, gang. That's all, that's all. What's all about? So if he would have did what I did when his homie tried to fight me, we would never have this conversation. Me and his homie would never be fought. Cause I f up new up niggas from each side. Shout out to to baby them. Shout out my from. You know what I'm talking about? I was locked up with for fucking uh, with nigga and nigga. RP, what to say? Uh, free spaz. RP Pappy's biggest spaz over there with staying at one point in time. I used to be on the phone with them. So it wasn't like I'm just reckless like that. You know what I'm take my words the wrong way. Like when I say I'm like man, fuck your. It might need to be that serious, but you want to take it serious. Take it serious, then. You know what I'm talking about? Though? And you, yeah, and you said that y'all had camaraderie because y'all. Oh, really? no, I, I can show you the DM right now, right now. On, on front of grade, I'm the only rapper that got receipts for everything. Look, hold on, nigga. I'm the only rapper that can show you repeats. What was Pappy Instagram? Man, uh, I think it was like Pappy, not Pappy, some shit. Nigga, anything I'm telling you about, gang, I can show you. I'm gonna grab my other phone. Hold on, because that tweaking out there on the service. Yeah, oh, uh, yeah, two phones shot you. I'm from the grade. Might be like 10 of them. Y'all let better I'm from the But I'm the only nigga that I got receipts, gang. Like I can show you what I'm talking about because it's like this I ain't lying to you, nigga. This is my real life. All right, look, they, look, is this his Instagram? Yeah. Now did y'all see it, Cameron? This is young Pappy Instagram. Look at my DM, gang. Unless one of them deleted the shit. Look at this. When it say what year? It said twenty uh twenty fifteen. Friday. Yeah, you was you was just like a Month Indiana. I'm telling him that I just got out, but I was in the jail still, but I was up in another jail. He like, when you get out, no question. I, I said this. I see you been doing. Look, I see, I see you been doing your thing. I see you like we 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 was it, we was chopping. You were having communication. But, but they deleted. Look, you see how it started off with Friday. Yeah. Whoever got his page, they deleted what the f he said at first. He ain't just start off with Friday, gang. Right. Look, look at the message. Yeah. He didn't just start off with Friday. He start off with, hey, gang, you home. Nigga, what happened in jail? Stay in jail. I say, right, who the f is this? So I go look at his page, and I see he had like the uh, the, uh, the finito video. How I'm, oh, that shit. I'm like, oh, oh, this folks that was in jail rapping. 
motherfuckers went outside and shit. Oh, <laughs> I ain't finna, I'm gonna leave that shit up there. I'm man gang on front of grade. Oh man, we ain't finna drop that tape. Even Friday, I'm out like, dead. They deleted all that part because I guess whoever got his page, I know somebody got his page, but yeah. it wasn't gang. RP that man on front of grade. It wasn't like on front of I can show y'all. It, it was crazy. I can show y'all a deal for me and anybody who y'all think want the band and show y'all the real truth of this shit. I'm not lying, bro. It just was a misunderstanding mm-hmm. because. The fact of the matter was, I and then keep on hunting though. You a bitch and folks. Like, I'm keep on hunting. Like, bang your ass a bitch. Like, you just ain't walking in the bullpen and beat my ass. Bro. I don't care if my arm was broke, my leg was broke. I'm from the grave. Let you would have been saying, nigga, f stain, f my uncle troop, nigga, f Ewall, nigga. And I don't mind, nigga. I, I could have been on my deathbed. You hopped in, I would have got out of my shit. <laughs> I'm from the grave. I ain't no one. Niggas not, they different from me. But the that, go get mad. Rick is you a bitch. Whatever. Like, that don't bother me, folks. Like, well, what the f? Rick is you a bitch. Oh, I got to ask your opinion about this. What do you think about all this footage that keeps coming out, man? They like, trying to they trying to bring up, they trying to throw salt on old wounds so the so, so, so murder rate can go back high. See, think? y'all got to pay attention to Chicago. They trying to do, it's a f- genocide game. All that. They trying to, they trying to let everybody motherfucking kill each other so they can bring in the white people with the f-ing new land. What's, like all that, that gentrification, all that trying to do all that shit. They don't. Yeah, I think Chicago is a rich city. It's just so much murder and violence that people are missing out on all of this shit. Like, I'm talking about, like, folks got killed in one of the richest areas, like, Gold Coast area and all that yeah. shit. Like, I was showing my girl this. Like, I was showing my girl and me videos. Like, oh, this is why I shot that. Why the band? I'm like, when they come down here and kill you, they want to show it. So I'm talking about, yeah. because you wouldn't even want to risk it. It's like, you can kill niggas, all right, from the hundreds of the low end, you kill niggas all day long and don't go to jail. But once you come down here and kill them, and now they on your ass. So, yeah. so it's like, you cut your ideas out. I front of y'all shit. They actually, the stuff. community actually put up money to find the killers yeah, themselves. Because, because there's so much money there. This is a Bugatti dealership down here. It's a Lamborghini dealership down here. It's every designer store you can think of down here. Like, so it's like, what? You ain't finna just let that shit slide. Yeah. But if this would have happened on, on anywhere else, I want to gain no f- That's crazy. And that's man. what it is. And that's the truth. And they don't get mad at me for saying that too. But it is what it be. It but, is what it is. And it's like, he unpacked me. <laughs> like, are you still my niggas, girl? When you still ain't fighting back, girl, and bang your ass up because you just couldn't let me go in the whoop in the fight. But I respect them, though. You fuck the man. I'm, I'm still in the rack. Get up with me. Ain't no beef. Like, R.I.P. Duty. So, like, are, so are you good now with 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 with, ba- with bang the header? And, I don't even know back. them. I know. I don't even know them, man. I, I know he was a nigga named Duty. He came on the south side trying to party. Folks and wiped his ass. That's all I know. Because because they like niggas be doing shit like that. They man, it was a nigga, man. I'm for, and the niggas be doing crazy. Shit. Man, I don't know, man. I, just, I, I stay in my lane with this shit, though, but I pray for both of their careers. I'm going to hope that they can get 100 million views on YouTube like me organically without the pay-per-views and they can, one day they can get some fans and shit then they can do their shit. Like, you know, folks really got to do it for his brother. Like, what? what? Because it's taste, it's, it's well, not, not the other taste sav, it's taste sav. Yeah, it's taste sav, okay. S-A-V. Okay, no, it, okay yeah. not the other one from. I'm from, uh, yeah, yeah, the one who just got out of jail. I, I like Who's that you? one. He be, yeah. he, be, he be smooth. I, yeah. I don't know him, but he kind of smooth. I see him with the chain. He's on his sober thing, too, man. He doesn't yeah, drink, he doesn't smoke, smoke or anything like that. Like, but, yeah, man, pray for their career, man. God bless y'all. I might as well be our prophet and do y'all thing because I, cause I support Chicago music. Like, if you make a good song, like, I, like I, I, matter of fact, I told him I was saying one time. I was like, gang, I'll say you, gang. Like, because you got a thing. I'll be having real, like, motion with this rap shit. Yeah. So I tell him, like, gang, ah, what's this as a girl? I'll show you. I'm like, ah, I'll ah, ah, sign you. You talking bang the hitter that she'll sign him? Uh, or or uh, Tay Sav? What's his name? Tay Sav? What, what's his Instagram? Let's see. I'm gonna show y'all some more shit again. We 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 gotta have nothing. And it ain't no beef with them. I pray for like I want I want everybody to win. I don't know niggas Instagram and shit. Let me see. The f- I don't know what's called Instagram, man. But I told them a long time ago. Like, look, gang, when they try to jump me and they can do a good job. I was like, look, gang, uh, keep rapping, game, because your brother used to be a good rapper, gang. Like, I can help you with this rap shit. It ain't no beef. Like, I don't get mad, bro. Be like this. You try to do something to me, bro. I don't give a. F- I still help you. You try to. Bro, I know people that tried to kill me, and I'm still like, hey, gang, look, this is how to get some money up in this way. And you still trying to help them? <laughs> Why not? Nigga, God, be yeah. here, nigga. I'm a fucking real walking testament, nigga. That's true. I'm a motherfucking, nigga. I'm a fucking, like, immortal to some of this shit, nigga. Like, God, nigga, like, I can see the future, nigga. All type of shit. I know what the fuck going on before it happened. I can tell where you can get your ass spanked before this shit happened. Like, your ass tweaking. Like, boy, positive vibes, or ain't no negative energy, but. I'm like, this shit don't bother me. Like, okay, like for instance, like, yeah, you would like, like for instance, you think I'd be mad at me for doing, for trying to snake me? Nah, you supposed to do that. Mm-hmm. Like, I see my word out there, you supposed to do that, but we still gotta get them on. 
<laughs> hey, but ain't shit no, and then we can be cool. Like I don't have no beef with you. You never, I don't have no beef with you. Like I don't have beef with them. I just said what happened, gang. That's all it was. It was a misunderstanding. And it seems like that, man. It seems like, especially throughout your career, you've kind of approached each situation with just enough force. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm, cause I'm kind of, I have to learn though too. Like even like right now, it's like I break this down to my like I like I used to let shit bother me that don't even can't even even make me. Show no emotion now. Yeah. You know what I know? Because I used to be I'm so high sometimes. I even feel like, man, they're trying me. Like, fuck that. And I'm like, but, a, I'm, but a good example of that is is the situation where I know he, he's passed away. Rest in peace with Lil Mister. Like, where y'all, where y'all were? That was my, man, Lil Mister. Them look. Lil Mister never like. Like, y'all, y'all, you saw he went to fight, so y'all kept the fight. Because he banned me, because he told me I was banned from the block. He like, you ain't coming on 75th. This shit tatted on me. You come on 75th, what happened? I come on 75th, we try to run the store. It's ice, snow outside. Man, we finna get the bit of something. Like, like, <laughs> like, it was, like, it was yeah. like, and that was us and Manuel. Like, and I went from Lily, like from the night before that nigga, yeah. I got nigga, was, I just got approached nigga. I swear to God, and the night before that nigga, I was just showing my girl, like nigga, night before that nigga, I was at a concert nigga and they wanted me to bring Jacquees. Okay, look, he's like, I'll tell you how funny shit, because you want to interview with us from Tweak Records up on the grade. I go, uh, this like a Chicago concert or some shit. And uh my and my pop's in there, and they like, man, hey, Jacquees, uh here, yeah, you need to do a song with uh with, with, with Jacquees, want the band. So you need to watch the band. So I man, cause they tell me I need to make a song for the shit. Yeah. So I'm all right, bad. They mean bring some backwoods, photo on the smoke and shit. So I'm all right, bad. Fuck coming shit. I end up losing the backwoods and shit on the way. <laughs> I got like one backwood. My friend gets scared, my last backwood, I'm fucked up. So so now I got the nigga, he was like, he, uh, his name Godfather. That's my nigga, though. Shout out to Godfather, bro. So I love Godfather, super grander up on IG. But he was like, man, you gotta humble yourself. Man, cause I ain't wanna give him Jack Quiz my last backwood. But you gotta humble yourself, man. He a big superstar. You give him the backwood, you gonna f to do a song. I'm like, man, I ain't gonna grab it, though, I ain't like, yeah. this is my last backwood. I'm, I'm gonna smoke this. <laughs> so he like, man, humble yourself. Nobody know you. <laughs> and I might well, look, know you. And I might walking up there. Walking. And I swear to God, why he saying this? Yo, Gotti walk up like, hey, Rico. <laughs> Hey, this your boy, yo, God. Hey, I f with you and I f with your movement. Anything you got going on, my nigga, let's take a picture and shit. So, where I'm doing that, I'm, nobody know you. Nobody know you. <laughs> man, this is your guy, you don't know. But it's just like, man, I'm leaving now. My mind's in Iraq, but I'm leaving now. And the next day, I'm finna go on the block. Like, man, I'm on the ground. Like, I literally left the go, then I own the block, wake up in the morning, and f it, smack the fuck out the mister. Like, I ain't fing, it was. Like R to the Mister, he need, but now, this ain't like me though. Between on some personal street shit, I don't think folks like me because I moved over there. Like yeah. people got it. I'm not. I ain't. I ain't. I, I'm like I moved to like Wooga World. Like I moved to Wooga World like oh eight. Yeah. So I moved over there. You know, right? They've been up living for that. I'm, yeah. I'm I'm Blackstone. So I moved over there. It's all GDs over there, and if they weren't accepting that shit. They expect me to come over there and rap too, and like the the main. One that's outside in the community doing everything. He my best friend. Oh, so the Mister kind of always like man. Dude, man, I'm the rapper from over here. Man, I got him. Man. No lacking. Freak on my So it's like a competition. There was a come, but I always supported him. Ask, ask anybody. I always used to be it. Supporting him, all that shit, gang. So R.I.P. Scud. To me, he was like Chief. He was like, he was supposed to, he was supposed to be up there like Chief Keith and Lil Durk and shit because he, he, he the reason why Chicago was saying no lacking. Lil, Lil Mister made no lacking song. Really? He started no lacking. The whole, the, 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 Term. Niggas weren't using no lack until the mister made that song. Mm. Get, sh get, uh, get shorty his more credit, boy. Mm. Shorty has a goat. It's just that nobody treated him like a goat. And that's how he died in the trenches. Mm. Because instead of y'all praising him and pouring into him and like treating him like he was Chief Key for a so and so, like man, him helping him. They're like, man, you ain't on the block with the gang. So they come on the block with yeah. the gang. Uh -uh, know. Yeah. Mm. Sending them in the raw direct. They were dating. Basically, man, is what sometime, you bro. The people who we hang with can determine our outcome. So, like, you gotta really be with some people that want to see you win. Like, yes, why you see me with all type of white motherfucker, black motherfucker, Italian motherfucker, RP to Greek. Like, Greek, like a Greek man changed my life. And I, I ain't had no fucking dad. Ain't no motherfucking black nigga come in, uplift me and change my life. A random Greek nigga that I didn't know came and bond me out of jail and put me in the studio every day, nigga, and turned me to this nigga. What? Yes, bro. Like, and I feel like he was an angel. Like, I feel like he wasn't even real. Like, nigga came and really changed my life. Nigga bossed me up, turned me to a man. Nigga taught me how to take care of my family, nigga. I was on the 75th corner every day, posted 50 on me, 30 on me, 60 shot records. I asked people, you could see old videos. I was the first nigga in Chicago with a 30 shot FN. Before they had 30 shot FN, nigga, I took my FN to the gun store, had put an extra spring in my clip to make my shit a 30 shot FN. We was really getting wild. Remember when, when academics posted me, I'm yeah, like, with the jail. That's not a BB gun. I went to jail off this shit. 
Nigga, this is my real life. So, like, this nigga came and grabbed me like a little game. God told me that you're going to be a big rapper. So it's meant for me to come put you in the studio. I'm what? Nigga, I want to do bad shit. He know, bro. Just go <laughs> to the studio. He's like, I'm going to pay for you studio time. He ain't, all the nigga pay for me studio time. Nigga, that's why I end up putting out six CDs in one year. How did you and, meet him? How did you meet the old Greek guy? Joey Rocks. Uh, it's a Mexican nigga. I, I knew from, uh, from, from Indiana named Joey Rocks. And I was locked up in the Indiana jail. After I got to jail from doing that time with like young Pappy and shit. Mm-hmm. I ended up doing like three, get 18 months. So after my 18 months, I had a f- one up in Indiana. So they came and picked me up from, from the jail and I took me to a whole nother jail. So I had mm-hmm. a whole nother 18 months. And the process of me being in the jail, I ended up bumming Joy Rife. Joy Rife, like, bro, we was just playing your music, gang. I was playing your music for the Greek. I'm who the f the Greek? He's like, man, the Greek, he was at some rich Greek nigga, but he loved street shit. He loved like the whole culture, bro. How much is your bond? I think my bond was like $9,800 or something because like after I did the time, like I still had to like, Bond out for some other shit. So he like, and I think my thing mom like ninety eight hundred dollars, and like I think folks them put out like three bucks or something, and then they get Greek on front of Greg. And he's like, man, look, piece this, my hey, my nigga, he ain't gonna get you out this bitch. Now I'm in jail, like man, right now, yeah, my 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 nigga's not coming to get me, so I'm like, man, I'm gonna come get me, oh, man. I'm, I'm in. You gotta believe it, right? And the next day, I was that man was outside, came to get me to the point I'm like, what the? F-? He came and got me, and he took me right to the studio. To the point, he took me so right to the studio that nigga, I got in trouble because I was still so ganged out that okay. I get right out of jail, go to the studio, and get get the up and blink on camera. They get the oh shit, let bring him back. He uh, got out of jail. So bro, your PO saw that you had put bro, the gun up, and I, I that, still had the jail shirt on with the gun. <laughs> like I, I had to call him hey, all, all the blogs, take that shit down, y'all. Hey, y'all finna get me locked up. And yeah. then in the jail, like man, if they take him down, we act like they ain't never happened. And then they let me back out. And that nigga put in the studio every day. I swear to God, he believed in me. He gave me a zip of weed. Whatever I wanted to go record, and I when that turned to me go reckless, and, and it was never good enough for him. Like he used to push me, gang. That's how I ended up making like that restoration when I rapping all them old school beats. Yeah. Because he kept saying all the time I'm making my songs. Now I'm making mixtape for mixtape for mixtape, and he like it's all right. But back in my day, he had played some old shit. Look at this. And then <laughs> what would he play for you? I, man, I like he'd play like old school shit, and I'm like nigga. I out rap these old niggas. Right. He like, no, you can't. So I'm like, all right. So How like, far back are we talking? Like, nigga, we talking about like, 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 we talking about nigga, wake your bitch ass up, nigga. We talking like straight up minutes back. Oh, nigga. we talking about like okay. nigga, boys in the hood back, okay. nigga. We okay. talking about like nigga, he was playing shit, and I'm like, all right. So we're gonna do it like this then, since you feel like these old niggas from back in the day can rap better than the nigga that you investing in, you pick five beats, I pick five beats, so we are gonna let Scud and pick five beats, all old school beats. And I'm gonna smoke all of them, nigga. And I bet you by the time we get done with these. Oh, we're gonna be like this nigga raw. And showing up, one of the songs on that was hit him up because it was the old Tupac beat. Yeah. And I just hop on that bitch, got the dance on that bitch. Then showing up, I woke up the next morning, then my bitch, I was I was lit. Yeah, it went like crazy. It went crazy. So, yeah. Then he was like this, oh yeah, now you really can rap. Like when I rap with some of them beats, he said, Oh, you can rap now. <laughs> he don't used to think the only nigga that can rap was like payroll Giovanni. Shout out payroll from Detroit. My uncle used to love to f out payroll, like Payroll and Wife and Lucci and me. The only niggas he had played besides old school rap. There was the only like current music he had played. You know what I know? So, yeah, I, so yeah. I went and go do a song with Lucci for him. And then I don't know Payroll, but hey, Payroll, you see this? I got to do a song for, for my uncle, for he was his favorite, for. So get up with me, for. Peasy, my boy, for. Already in Detroit, for. Sada, already my boy. Get up with me, for. And gang, we got to do that. And it seems like when it comes to Detroit, you guys have an interesting connection. It doesn't seem like there's any friction there. So you, the Detroit artists mess with all y'all. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, remember I used to remember they banned me from Detroit one time. Okay, yeah, yeah, I remember that. I was I out there tweaking with uh, with Snap. Okay, yeah, I had okay. Snap, Snap. We was out, we was tweaking. Okay, we was having fun. Okay, just because it was the fact that uh, he was trying to get on and nobody was replying to him. Yeah, and I had got fake on off somebody replying to me. Remember, Soldier Boy just went on TMZ. I got a hundred thousand. Somebody get we got records. Yeah, that, like I woke up lit. So when I saw Snap kept trying to like bark up the tree, I gave us a loan. I'm a, I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a helping. Yeah, dang, you've had a lot of like, okay, because even remember this situation that you had in Atlanta where somebody accused you of throwing down the rakes or whatnot. Yeah, for you know, and, and why I'm on the phone with yeah. folks and them. Like, this is folks and them on the phone. This yeah. is the the biggest GDs you will ever meet in your life. Yeah. The f- are you talking to me about? Yeah. Like, I mean, look, I'm, I'm glad that that driver pulled off like that. And that guy, that, do you, did you hear what happened to that guy in that situation where there was actually, he went to court and I guess there was videotape or they something like that, allegedly? He was snitched. 
Allegedly, you know what I'm saying? Nigga, I'm not, shout out him, though, because he ain't doing nothing wrong either. He was just chasing it. Like, you yeah. see me in the store by myself, and you got a gun on you. You were your head like, man, let me try to get some clout. You did what you both do, but I, I would have went up saying I'm like, that bitch. I would have walked up to the car. Fuck, fuck, fuck. I would have went viral. <laughs> but I'm glad I was in the car. Shout out Trouble Sister, because she got that. What? Real shoe she with the car. She pull out. And I said, like, why you pull out like that? It's like, because, boy, this Atlanta, my Actually, about the bam. I mean, we ain't going like that though. We like, come on, let's go back up there. So me and Hunda, we grab guns, go back up there. You go watch the video. I go right back up there. I'll laugh like, hey, if a nigga just try to like play with me or something, I'm back up there right now. Come up there right now. Like, like ain't nobody driving. I'm on feet. Come back up there right now. Like, I'm type this shit in. Everything I'm telling you, I got facts for this. Nah, I remember that whole situation playing out. Like, I wasn't. That's why people don't like me, Scud, because they're like the fact that I can tell you when something good or something bad happened to me, and I'm gonna still be the same happy about it. Like, yeah, somebody tried to kill me. So what? I try to kill guns, my nigga. Like, what else? It be what it be. Now we we went we went on a we we went away from the whole jail thing, which is cool because okay, uh, all of that because all those oh, no, that we you want to talk about jail? I was gonna. She get, get on my ass last night. She said, "Babe, you got to get out the box." I said, "What you reading the box?" She said, "Babe, you be watching jail on your phone. <laughs> you in a mansion. You in a mansion. Your thick as hell. Your kids in here straight. We fine. We not all our bills paid. We living mm-hmm. a good life for you and this." Watching jail. I say, babe, I'm fucked up. <laughs> I'm fucked. Y'all jail fucked me up on institution last so I be watching that shit on TV like, man, CO, you bogus as hell. Let's good and do their thing. <laughs> I watch those jail shows too. Right? I watch them too much though. Days, and she, man, all that and she be like, babe, you putting yourself back in that man. Yeah. So I ain't gonna lie. So so she can tell me, like, I don't know. I'm gonna like, take your phone. I'm no, please, mom, don't take my phone. So I ain't gonna lie. I ain't watch no more jail for like, I'm sorry, I ain't watch no more jail unless it's for Shy Rare. Cause that's a funny. That's different. That's I real. Know. I was gonna go back there and I was gonna ask you, man. Look at this tweet. Have you seen the the other little J tape that came out? Man. Wait, wait, we talking about he, he that bitch getting that percolated with that yes. motherfucker. Can't ever fucking this dick rolled in that motherfucker. You ain't see we was humming? No, nah, fuck that. They didn't. And I I ain't tell y'all this a long time ago. Though. I was gonna say that you had a video that came out a year ago. I want to say when they got said, mad at me for this. Remember yes, they got records and so goop get your. Ass up, you a hater. You was like, you was like, Lil J, he's a little sus. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I told y'all, I, I, I saw the video yesterday. I told y'all, he in there kissing and fing yeah. dudes. And y'all was like, man. And you to quote you exactly, you said, it was about a year ago, you was like, Lil J in there. Uh, booty bando or something. Booty bando. It. Do you remember? Yeah, <laughs> that's, that's what they call it. Yeah, yeah. butt bandit. And they're yeah. trying to get that mud. And we ain't talking about knocking. I spin spin this. You trying to? What's crazy yeah, is Lil J came out of jail, right? He came and, out and, and, and merged it that he knew it. He was going. He was going up, man. He was going out. He was back on time. And remember, I made the. That's why I made it come like this. Yeah. Y'all already watching this. This this. Shout out to LGBT. Yeah. No diss to, to the. To I don't like y'all. Yeah. Folks, the gay, what the, the, the whatever y'all want to call yourself, I support y'all for mm. one grade for y'all. Book me for a band, I'm coming to them with this rap. You know what I'm saying? Tear this but at the same time, this is what a problem coming to the the rap community. What's the one nigga name that was that was, that was just for young boy? Uh, I love McConan. He yeah. was pink nails. And let y'all know, I started this gay. Yeah, shit. He, he, he so he openly letting y'all know. Uh, Elton John openly was. Yeah. Um. Who else? Uh, it's uh, we don't have oh, Saucy I mean, Frank, Santana, Frank Ocean, openly, yeah, Saucy Santana. Like we have no problem with the, yeah, we have a problem when you trying to act like you're not what you is. Cause now, like, why are you lying? <laughs> like if you nigga embrace your, yeah. nigga if, if I was nigga I'd be with my boyfriend outside. Oh, whoa, Paul, I'm cracking those. Don't get taken out of the bed. Anyway, I gave you my girl right here. Spinning camera ass fatter than, than, than any bitch you ever saw in your life. But real. <laughs> but anyway, I'm just saying if. I'd be, I'd be embracing if this was me. Yeah. So the problem with Lil J was, bro, you doing this. Bro, he was in jail. And still they tried right. to do, bro, the person who they tried to rob, that's my family. Like yeah. Jayla, the whole case, they tried to go rob my cousin. My cousin ended up popping the fuck out the nigga he was with. The nigga he was with died. So they charged Lil J and Murder with, uh, with the murder. Yeah, they because, didn't kill nobody. Because and, for the people listening, is in some states, if yeah, you're one of the I, people, go ahead, go ahead and bring it Okay, out. in Chicago or in some states, say if, if, if me and Witty try to go rob a motherfucker and the person kill Witty, they're going to charge me with Witty murder because exactly. we tried to go do this. Yeah. So that's what it was. It yeah. was, so they, so it was like, I, like, well, I knew the whole situation. Man, you got to think, I was still in the trenches when this was going on. So I got my, I got my cousin, like, yo, homie, them just tried to, 
And then I just kill one of their ass, boy. They ass. Like, you know what I'm talking about? This is real life. So I'm like, man, I'm in front of that show. I try, I try to rob my cousin. That's why I'm like, man, I ain't f- with y'all. Y'all know a walk ass shit. You know what I'm talking about? This my, y'all could have called me. Like, you know what I'm talking about? Let like, goofy shit though. But anyway, the fact of the matter was you went to jail. And people don't know this. He thought he was going to get life in jail. He didn't mm-hmm. think he was going to get out. So when you in jail, you think you're going to get life. It's in PC. This for all the this is like the, mm-hmm. the motherfucking. So it'll be a nigga in jail, some big ass and a fat ass. And you in here horny as hell 24 7. Yeah. And now you so like fucked up. That like, man, this she is kind of fine. What do you mean she? That's not a dude. I mean, I mean, that's not, I mean, that's not a girl. That's a dude. Yeah. So it's like he and then he's to get never get out. You know what I'm talking yeah. So. But when people saw so, him, him not thinking that he's never going to get out, he probably was like, man, I'm going to go ahead and get loose in this bitch. Yeah. He didn't think it was going to never come out. But I think, man, that's still already got to be a part of how you get down. You know what I'm saying? Because most oh, cats ain't just been, you, Most cats just ain't going to You ain't just hopping that bitch and, and, and start trying to eat no yeah. up. You been trying to eat some yeah. up. Like, your ass is a fucking eater. Okay. And just the opportunity presented itself in the logical okay. and, like, and then he felt like nobody was going to know. All the reason how we was able to know at first because you got CEOs in the jail like, man, your homie look jail here. <laughs> we like, as a CEO, you like, man, front your shit. But then he like, bro, for real, like, dude, this real, it's, every CEO not a fucking 12 ass nigga. It's some CEOs that just want to make some fucking bread for their family mm-hmm. and they a CEO. But they not, they still street niggas. I know yeah. some CEOs that want to fuck it, that's gang the fuck out of the beat your ass that's still on the block, but they a CEO. Yeah. Hey, you know what I'm talking about, though? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Rick Ross, he was a CEO. Nick yeah. Ross, nigga was city had bricks his whole like, like, he was a, you know what I know? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, like, yeah. I, like, I read Rick Ross' book. He had a book called Hurricanes. And in the book, he say that he was only a CEO so he could help his friends get drugs in jail. You know what I'm talking about, though? Yeah. So, you don't know why. So, the CEOs you, were yeah. already letting y'all know Damn. about Lil J. And the CEOs be letting fucking know. That's why it's the CEO that's putting that shit out. Yeah. You know what I'm yeah. know? Because they want to expose. They like, they see, they, they, they see, and they're like, nah, let me show you the truth. So, you think that the, the Chirac Rare and all that, you think that's the CEO that, that's I, doing that? This is a CEO or a CEO Panem. Yeah. Because you got to think about it. So I just right. saw they just, like today, they, they just posted boss top footage of uh, when Juan I saw that. Died. Now, right. that's a whole nother state. Yeah. How the f- did y'all get that footage? That is, and that's in Atlanta. That's an Atlanta body cam. I'm like, who is releasing this footage? What did you think about that? Free because Boss, man. Boss Top was asking, like, at the time. Boss like, Top don't like me. He was like. He don't like me because. Really? But, but he don't like me because he say I'm an op. And, and, and he don't know why niggas be we with me. Like, because, you know, he, it's certain, you know, like, like, it's certain niggas. It's certain different hoods. No matter. They they, they become I'm a real nigga. Yeah. Like, shout out E-Dog from, oh, I'm just on the phone with E-Dog. Like, okay. Like shout out, nigga, different hoods, different people. Like, nigga, I don't, nigga, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't hold grudge. I don't got problems with people, but people don't like me because, like, for instance, like I did a song with E Day, yeah, me and Fredo, that was my nigga, and uh, me and Lil Reese, that I always see Lil Reese, that's my dog. Like, nigga, it's like I ain't, I don't got problems, but then again, I also know people that might be saying fuck y'all with the band. I'm not playing no middle man. Shit, I'm not finna get you back though and shit like that. I'm gonna keep my away from each other, but I'm not finna not with somebody because you don't want to fuck with them unless it's really that deep. You know what I know? Mm-hmm. Now, my cousin Ewall, you tried to do some shit to Ewall, I'm not going to be hanging with you. You know what I know? Yeah. But at the same time, though, like, you know how this shit go. Nah, nah, man. But sometimes... Like, I don't let niggas dictate my pace. The Chicago is a following state and niggas can dictate their pace. So niggas tell like, man, don't go over there and hang with them. You just won't do it. You never know why. Me, I'm a... I, like, I want to learn mannerisms. I Like, I want to know why people do certain things. Why you think the way they think. Why you act the way you act. So why are you telling me not to hang with this person? To the point, you might tell me, hey, don't fuck with him right now. I'm going to DM, hey, what you on? Like, what's your number? Let me talk to you now because I want to see why they don't want me to fuck with you. It was crazy and sometimes, man... When things are really, really cracking, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, people would get on live, and all it would take was everybody spamming so and so dissed you, or what do you think about this dude? Say, and if, yeah, that's it. That's how you get. That's, that's that was it. And then, and that's why I said I. Get, and that's why I said I, I got respect for the boy that just came home, Tay Savage. Yeah, because I saw him on live. He was on live uh, with some. I right. matter of fact, it was. Uh, uh, it uh, it was I don't know what it was. It was somebody was on uh, him. I, I, FYBJ man. Nah, 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 nah. It was before that. It was some niggas from out of town was trying to get somebody from Chicago to to say Tay Savage just off the the, the strength. So before Tay Savage hopped on there and like and they just got the beef and he he hopped on there like, hey gang, I don't know you, you don't know me. Why would you let some niggas from out of town convince you to say fuck me? Yeah. What do I know? And I was in my head like. That was a nice approach to that situation. Because <laughs> that was respectful. Like that was like um, that was like 
some man shit. Yeah. That wasn't no blood, but that was some man shit. It was like, hey, we don't got no problem. You letting these people get you to say, I don't know you to say, fuck you. So, what, like, what are we doing? Yeah. And I was in my head, like, I like how you approach that situation. Like, yeah. like, well, sure. Man, I read some shit last night watching that GL shit. It say, uh, what did what what it say? But it said, uh, no man, uh, every man you meet is uh, not a friend. Every man you meet is not an enemy. Mm-hmm. But every man you meet is a teacher. So that means that we don't gotta be cool. We don't gotta be into it. I can still learn from you. Well, I know that's what I got from that. Like you gonna learn something from everybody that you come across. I'm gonna learn something from you, motherfucker. Believe in here. I'm like, man, man, you taught me already about what's going on out here with the property value, all type of shit. You know what I know? So like, yeah. you learn from everybody you 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 come in contact with. It's just what you do with the information. It's just, you, it's gonna you 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 gonna retain the information, or your dumbass gonna go out there. Like, Shoot in your head, your shit will leak out. It's all about how you come. <laughs> but nah, man, uh, that, that, that's a very mature approach of, of meeting people and building relationships, man. And like you said, man, you about some growth, man. And I'm, I'm feeling. I'm about some growth and development, but I ain't GD though. That's another thing. For I am not GD for they let the GDs in the door for that. I nothing to do with me for. I've been Blackstone my whole life for, and I'm not a game maker. I am records running game. It is not a game. It's a fucking record label. Free E Wall, free stay, free freaky. Who else? Free thirty. Mm-hmm. Who else? Thing. I free free stains here too, Dan. Who else? We're free everybody locked up. That's what's up. Free so, Sunny Mo. <laughs> so now we got our little Jay man. His his video. He, he, what, what about King Von? Did you see King Von's video I, where he where he basically I like. PC'd up, man. What do you think about that? So in the video, you have King Von. Exactly. He's being escorted. Even the way people are mad at me. Even because they love Von, gang. And yeah. People, and, and, and then they act, they got a thing like, like people love Von, like, like, got, like they love Von. Okay. So they don't want to see no bad or Von. They, yeah. they don't want yeah. to disrespect Von, all type of shit. So you can't call it spade a spade. You, you like, but me, I don't give a fuck who's ducking this shit. You talking about? He was ducking this shit. Yeah. Like, this is what it was. I gotta fight every day. Y'all saw niggas trying to fight me. I can't even see you all type of shit. You gotta fight. This is what you gotta do. Ain't no ducking your shit. Some days you might not wanna fight, but guess what? You know what you gotta do. You, you folks was ducking and shit. And I'm sorry to say it like that, cause I got, I, my mom, like my son, he loved Vaughn. So the point that nigga, I, I f Vaughn. Nigga, I was just Gleach Place the other day. Nigga, like you're playing a song. Nigga, I don't got no problem before. I like, I love what he did for Chicago yeah. as far as, when you think of Chicago, it like if you could think of, of Chicago, nigga, I say like that's a good like. If you can like, all right, for instance, if you can think of New York, nigga, I say like who are like a good New York ass nigga, like Jim Jones was a there you go. Like yeah, you think of New York, or you think like a good Cali nigga, Nipsey, yeah. New Dog. Or so if you think of Chicago, I say King Von. Like yeah. he's a good example of this. How niggas act from Chicago? They always saying. Your dead people, they turn like they are like yeah. it's like or that was like still got that ability to still, clown, man. Oh yeah, still. Cause yeah. like I've met a lot of Chicago cats who are we, funny, we, man. But we got because we cause yeah. that, uh, the term we use is man, we got these. So on the yeah. grade, like as far as you can just try to let, throw a little joke out there, I'm like I'm gonna fry your ass down. Like we yeah. got jokes, like we got these. So it's like folks ass was thorough. It was just that that footage wasn't supposed to come out. Yeah, I know, I know. So people don't know that. Yeah, I don't know what Scud was going through that day. He's probably tired. He was probably tired that day. You gotta think this is an everyday thing. Every day you gotta fight every mother day. He was probably tired that day and y'all got it on camera. He, I don't wanna fight today. I don't wanna go. I might as well. And then you, and then you wanna move. And then everybody on this, like, oh, you want GM, you gotta do this to move, gotta do this to move, man. It's a hundred different, man. Everybody know how you can move. So is there a way you can refuse housing? Okay. I got news. When they say go your cell, I ain't, I ain't going to my cell. I'm okay? They gonna come get your ass up out there and take your ass to the hole. Now, is that a move by saying that, yo, you, L- to, bro, you know, the, bro, is that a, you gonna, bro, they, they finna get mad. Now, nah, see, look, now nah, you finna get my old black, my old block pass took away. Nah, man, I was just gonna be able to go to the old block and shoot a video probably. Yeah, put it on me. Nah. This. So it's Witty fault, not me. I'm just saying what the fuck, yeah, man. But, motherfucker, it was, bro, if he ain't want to, if you want to move, there's a hundred ways you gotta move instead of doing that for. He just was ducking this shit at the time. Oh. But at the time, he probably was just, then he, somebody, they said, Lil Josh, someone there want to fight. He ain't want to fight Lil Josh. And then you got to think, right. you want, it's time you go on the deck, bro. I'd have been on Dex game where it's 10 niggas over there. I'm talking about, so you get there. Cause they, when you go on the deck, this is this. So this is what happened in Cook County Jail. You get your shit, you go on the deck. So you go on the deck. They say, on the noon, it can be two o'clock in the morning. Dude, they don't, they don't, ain't, ain't no time when they have movie on these decks. But when somebody sees somebody new coming on the deck, when they hear them keys, I think when it's jail, it's quiet. We always get to hear them keys and shit. Everybody look at you. On the new. When people say on the new, everybody wake up and go to their door. Because you're trying to see if this your op. You know what I'm talking about? Because yeah. if this your op, you're going to do this. Yeah, boy. And you all do. Hey, boy, I'm beating your 
was like, you, if this is a jail, like, right? hey, who was that? That's, that's reckless? Hey, boy, nigga, 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 fuck so-and-so, nigga, I'm beating your ass when I come out. So now you like, what? Bitch, that nigga know the f- time then I'm in sale, walk the bam, let's do it. So now, like, now you know, now you already, you know, I'll be on sale, like, boy, you come out, I gotta, I, I'm gonna have to fight. You might go over there, the whole top neck, you over there. Oh, no, no, hey, that's reckless. Yeah. Yeah, now you over there like, who was that? Well, who's motherfucker 63, boy? The old top deck sister. So you like, oh, hell no. CO. CO. <laughs> hell no. Hey, CO. Hey, no, I'm not finna be my ass. Like, yeah. you still gotta be real. But me, I'm dumb. Be out when I be my ass. Dude. I ain't going nowhere. Man, that didn't even come to my door like, folks. So, oh, that's really so cool. do you lose any points for rolling it up in Chicago, in Cook County? Or is it is it just, hey, man, You're they got right, 20 man. people. they got 20 people on this deck. It's just me. They holler like you said. This new person coming in say it's King Von. Do a bang did to me. Do a bang did to me. Oh, or did, crash out. Just so you so with the CEO right there. Well, right to him. Fuck on one grade. Now you know he gonna take you back. So you really didn't. You know what? Yeah, yeah. That was a good move. <laughs> That's what he gonna on this bust him up. Cause now they gotta take you. Huh, my dog. Yeah. Now you guys can't be in the same in the same cell or excuse me in the same pad, right? You know what I know? Yeah. Yeah. So there's ways. Yeah. And, and, and like RP Von, I ain't trying to put on dirty post good name. Like yeah. it's it's you know this is a crazy story for real. It's just the fact that he's good. He did cookie dog this shit. <laughs> he's ass. I don't know. I don't know who every G duck. He was alone because he dug this shit. You talk about yeah. I got jokes still. Yeah. Yeah. No. Man, man, like you said, man, I, they, it, everybody's man, still I, Ain't it pissed me off, we duck this shit, because people are always like this, like, in some type of way, as far as the way I crack jokes and the way I'm always ready for anything, they're like, oh, yeah, you man, me, oh, yeah, you kind of remind me of all. I'll bet, no, no, I don't, because I have to fight every day. 24 7, even if I didn't want to, I'm from the gray, and this time, for, this time, for, I didn't feel like it. I swear to God, I'm like, I'm trying to use the phone. And then this time, for, like, it's, man, it's a county jail for, I, you see this mark on my lip, nigga, it's a forever mark on my lip, nigga, I got this nigga, when I was a kid in that motherfucker for trying to do a fimball meeting, because it's, it's still gained out, so with me being under the five point style, little people shooting justice and shit, we, we being one of the moles, one of the black stones, hey. the vice lords, the four CHs, the Latin kings, the moles, like, anything like this under the five, sometimes, if the deck is on count, for instance, like the G's and the BD's, they got to do one love. So in jail, they got to be cool if the deck on count. One time I know. So with this going on, one time a situation happened where we got to like, had to sit down. Like, I, they like, uh, he was a forward and he was mad because me and my celly be up all night talking. So he's like, man, y'all up all night talking. I said, nigga, you in jail. You in the Hilton, nigga. Good time, my nigga. We talking all night because we want to. He, I right, admit then when we come out, I'm going to see you. So when we come out now, I'm ready to fight. Like, nah, look, y'all didn't even do that. Let's have a meeting. So now we sit down. It's one, two, three, four. It's a mo, a mo, a fo, a fo. While we talking at the meeting, this man to reach over the table and because I'm, I'm telling the truth. I say, look, gang, you can't dictate my pace in the cell game. You, we in two different cells, game. I'm talking to myself. If we got to be quiet because you sleepy, this is jail, gang. Get your on. He reach over the table, bust my ass. Fuck, I'm talking about this nigga bigger than you. He, I'm talking about have my shit hanging. I'm talking about my shit was hanging. Oh, man, I get right up. Oh, yeah, let's do it. Bop, 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 okay, spin his face. We, we, we getting on, like. Yeah. And, like, that shit ain't bothered me. I'm talking about nigga, I had to go to visit my lip. Hey, my mom mad to say, like, what the fuck happened? I'm, uh, I, I beat the fuck out of him, though. Like, it's going to happen. Like, this happens in jail. Like, we going to fight 24-7. This is what's going on. Like, nigga, what it is, nigga. Just a part of it, dog. Look that shit. What you going man. It is what it is, man. I don't think I don't think anything you said anybody should take to heart. They you know said it because I'm not saying it from a bad spot. Like exactly. R.I.P. King Line, bro. Like I like I ain't had no problem with that man. I'm just going off what I saw. Yeah, I think my cousin Lucy, go watch fucking Ron fucking video. When 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 fucking what's the what that video? My cousin Lucy in the video. Like that was like when I was when, when soon Lucy was locked up with me. Ron was still sending him money and all type of shit. Like man, like it be ties. So I'm not disrespecting. Well, I'm just saying that. Even Lucy would say, man, I don't know why he did that. Like, they'd be like, man, Ron was funny like that. And I was going to ask you about that clip, that next clip, because another clip came out the same week. I where I, yeah, where he you, snuck out of his... You know, that was okay. movie that he did that to. That, that's what I, w- I was going to ask. I was like, okay. So the story was that the one of the kids, you know what I'm saying, had, or the guy that he, had, he, he started fighting with, had this one of the one of the fallen members of O Block and or something like that. from O Five One Young Money. Yeah, but he don't f- with them though, cause cause because Pre Boy snitched on him. A nigga named Pre Boy. So I don't know. I'm just saying. Don't get me now. Now they finna be. I thought the same thing. I said the same thing. I don't know though. But they got. I guess 
a nigga on this case named Pre Boy, whatever, snitched on him, so he don't fuck them or whatever. So that's why he don't fuck with them. He ain't nothing, nothing extra. That's what he said. That's what it is. But Freaky used to be slammed out. Like, he used to, used to be Freaky, Rockhead, motherfucking. A lot of them, you know, Rockhead, the one that told him everybody for killing L.A. Capone. Harder. Like, Lil Mick, it was Lil Mick, Miko, all them. This is, I'm not snitching. This is already out. They got convicted. I'm just yeah. telling y'all, this is a reiteration. I'm elaborating on the truth because they shout. I don't know where it really happened. So anyway, Miko, Rockhead, Lil Mig, I guess. Somebody, and people don't know this door, but somebody called and said LA leaving the studio. So that was a back door. It was the, they, they, they said the studio man back door them. They, they, Rondo and them thought the cab driver back door them. So that's why they killed the cab driver. It's a lot of bullshit with this. Yeah, yeah. But it was really the studio man supposed to be to have back door LA and say, man, he's going to leave right now. Go ahead, get wild. So folks got the call. They pull up, being. Now, Lil Mick never killed anybody in his life. This Lil Mick first body, if Rockhead and gassed him up, because Rockhead used to be, Rock, Rock, Rockhead was over at Vans back in the day. Rockhead used to be doing hella gang shit. So Rockhead used to have, he's a, we call it in Chicago called Get Your Brain. Well, you know how to get your brain. So Get Your Brain is to like manipulate you to do what the fuck I want you to do. Like, I can, sure. I can get your brain and make you go fight him. I can get your brain and make you go shoot him up. I mean, hey, bitch, they stay walk the man. You go, what? Walk the man going, I just got your brain. I got your goof ass. Now you finna go, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah. So Rockhead would, Rock yeah, fool. He ain't fool. Let me go catch a body. Let me go catch the body. And process. And that ended up being L.A. Capone. And ended up being L.A. Capone. Yeah. And then Rocket ended up getting caught for some other shit and told on everybody. Man, look, what well, I'm locked up for. Folks did this and like, 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 like you went with them. So now all of them end up getting cracking. Miko, Lil Mick, and Rocket they get like forty apiece. Bing, bing, bing. Now, I guess okay. Now, Freaky being Rocket at best friend. Freaking don't like they. Um, I got some people that I know. See, I like the BDs. My cousin the BDs, so I don't, I don't. I don't. I don't have a problem. I don't not like people because of what gang you in. Yeah. I'm more don't like you because what type of nigga you is. Don't know like I don't give a what gang you is. You a nigga. You, a you can be my gang. You a so I'm not gonna ain't with you. So it's like freaky. Being freaky, cause freaky, freaky said they call and they, why they call him freaky? Cause freaky used to get freaky with that gun. He used to rob. Freaky was a robber. He used to rob the got more fucking the shit. Oh, okay. he get freaky with that. I, always, I wonder why. Yeah, how he had that. Because he get so freaky with that motherfucker. They called him freaky. Like I, all my friends, you used, used to do their name. Like I used to hang with Stain. He hit a Stain. I was records. I get records. I do a murder. He gonna do a murder. Freaky gonna get freaky with that motherfucker. Like you know what I'm talking about? Head buster gonna bust a head. You know what I'm talking about? Like that was it. Like that's what it was. So. He was uh, like cash out, get cash. Whatever I know, like, yeah. like what it was. But anyway, Freaky got f at. So this some people don't know that they was on deck with each other. They was on deck with each other. And Freaky, I said, I guess they was cool. Like, cause Freaky, like in jail, you would be cool with whoever. whoever, whoever. Freaky got a f LA on this, on him. And this was, this is from him telling me, cause he can, they, they probably calling, like, I'm, look, I'm getting missed calls. Niggas was calling while I'm doing it. <laughs> but he got a f LA Capone, whatever. And I guess. I guess when he got it, I guess, cause, cause I also heard another story too. Somebody said that he never saw that Freaky had it. Freaky said that he did, so he had it. But he said he ain't never see he had it though. Uh, so Vine jumped on a thing. Look at after the tattoo. See the nah, tattoo? watch this. this, this ahead, I'm saying this. 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 Go ahead, rock out. This, this, this what I heard. I'm just saying of right. what the phone calls. What they tell me happened. I heard it was they went to court. They said if Vine was just fighting trial for murder. So while you were going to trial for murder. He bumped into somebody from from the hood and freaking into it. Freaking them into it with like like four six or some shit. So like, cause they was from fifty first, fifty third. So like, he bumped into him and them all. So um, and then they saw that like, what? I'm from the gray. I'm from the tail phone and beat your ass in the board man. Mm. So now he ended up seeing Ron. Like man, beat man, beat man. Freak got that L.A. beat his ass. But even if Ron. Was cool with Freaky. Ron was a type of just, he was just in a sense of just like he like we don't go like whatever whatever. I'm getting switched so fast like we'd be cool. All I'm gonna, she'd be like go. I'm getting went to it. Like, yeah. Oh no, like going up and go because you a real street nigga. You know that's how you move. Like we don't got no feelings with this shit. So it was like I guess he saw him up and they like man you finna go to bullpen with Freaky. He got that fucking lay on his hand. Ron like oh yeah I'm finna. I'm finna, I'm finna get out and beat his ass. How in the world? It's crazy how he got out of his head. Bro, you got it. And then I'm, people like bro, it's not. Easy getting out them cuffs. Boy, yeah. Everybody would have did it. <laughs> you got to learn how to talk to the, to the CEO that's from the cuffs on. Oh, you got to okay. be like, you got to learn to be like, uh, you, you, this nigga that was locked up with me right here to him, jail. He could tell you. Yeah, he was locked up with me and Rondo. He'll tell you a lot of crazy shit. But we go, but anyway, though, but uh, the f 
Uh, he got. He was getting out of the handcuffs. Yeah, he, and you he, said that the CEO like, probably could have showed him some love. Or like, that, like, so when the CEO put no handcuffs on, because this the blue box, so these the motherfuckers. Hey, so like, because this like for Division Nine, like in a regular bullpen, like six, eleven, one, two, you ain't handcuffed like that in a bullpen. It's busted. Like you saw the one video as soon as Rockhead and M M M Cap Six Hundred. Yeah, when he fought him for being involved in a murder, yeah. like somebody like, hey, you know this one that. Had, yeah, L.A. Kill Cap took right off on Rocky at ass. I'm talking about those. Yeah. They 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 handcuffed. So, and, but in Division Nine, these are all the murderers and the killers up in here that's fighting the world away. They're supposed to be so they got to be handcuffed because they know it's gonna go down. So he was probably when you and the police put the handcuffs on, he's like, "Hey, gang, you like 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 that's too tight. I can't." You know what I know? Yeah. And so they might have made it a little just a little more open so he can ah, get that get out. Yeah. And then. Uh, he, I ain't gonna lie. He went across. He was going across the country. I ain't gonna yeah, lie. He was, freaking my boy. But he did, I told him freaking like, bro, he did what he supposed to do, gang. Freaking like, I ain't tripping on him, but freaking was saying this. This was freaking defense. And now, and, and I think this is still, this still my rapping. Like, I still love freaking. Like, I got love for one, but I, you think I just slept on the floor with freaking. So I got love for freaking. You know what I know? Yeah. Uh, he said that. He said, man, he said, man, gang, I ain't gonna lie, gang, he was chasing that shit, cause he was like, gang, he was on deck with me, gang. We was chilling, it was cool. He could have fought me on deck, gang. He did that shit, cause he knew that, that he was gonna be able to, I, I wasn't gonna be able to do nothing back, yeah. he knew that we won't be able to go. Do you know what I know? Yeah, I understand. So, and then, he had the he, upper hand. And then it was other members in the bullpen, too. So you gotta think, when it's members around, people used to always say that, like, certain gang, I, right, I'm not dissing y'all, folks. My cousin, BD, is. But people got this term when they say the BDs they move in numbers. So they say this. So if you catch a BD by itself, he'd be cool to say. Uh, but you'll catch him with six one BDs, like, yeah, boy, and now we on that. So you be like, man, you just cool as hell. <laughs> like, so they say that they move in numbers like that. GDs doing it too. Like, niggas be doing Like, it's just niggas. It's not even a certain game. Niggas just do it. So it was there was members in that bullpen. I saw the video. Uh Wooski Brothers in the bullpen. You know, he O block uh THF Gucci was in the bull. It was members in the bullpen. So why well, I got that, yeah, oh yeah, beat your ass. Like phone him in the briefing to beat your ass. Yeah, and there was nothing wrong with that. Yeah. He did what he posed it there. You got fucked. You got my homie, or you, or you, you, your ass need your ass beat. I told Freaky, like, even my homie Stain said, man, folks said, he, he was chasing, like, Stain saying Freaky was chasing that shit because he said that he shouldn't have had that shit on him. He's like, why you walk? He's like, if you ain't killing him, why you got it on you? And, 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 and personally, I stand for that too, like, folks, why you, man, you ain't killing him, for Like, Lena's like, like, just leave it alone, like, just leave it alone, man. Like, 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 that's like me going to get a f my, I don't got, like, that's gonna be pointless. It's like, it's like me trying to start some shit, especially in jail where you know they gonna see and you know they gonna fight. It was like, Freaky kinda wants to swole. Yeah. Freaky uh, wants, yeah. I ain't gonna lie, Freaky, but he's slime. You don't see his name, his name is slime. Like, he slime, fuck, like, he like that shit. Now, in, now, I wanna get some understanding of one thing though, man. And just to segue a little bit, where did your whole issue with with most of the people who were FBG happen? Like, like FBG Butter. Like, recently, FBG Butter, he did a... Go ahead. No, 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 go ahead, dude. Right. Come on, I'm, 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 cause I'm trying to find the... So, so I can show you the proper what, what happened. But, yeah. but, 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 but... So, so recently, yeah. FBG Butter, he had did an interview... Talking about me? Yeah, and talking about you. And basically, he had made a statement. He was like... And... Butter was talking about me? Yeah, he So, said, Butter on the computer doing all this and he was talking about me. <laughs> nah, Butter, Butter, bro. I don't even know you, bro. Oh, 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 K.I., you ain't talking about me. Now, he said something crazy, and I, I'm, maybe they were just, maybe they were, I'll give him the benefit of the doubt. Maybe they were, uh, what is it called, clickbaiting with the Ch titles and stuff? Chasing that shit. But he was like, uh, it, it was said that he was like, Rico Reckless, the type that, uh, that, um, that'll avoid getting shot by putting a kid in there or something like that. Yeah, was, he said I. He said I do the. He said I do the duck. I try to put the baby in there. Yeah, yeah, right. Not no funeral grade people right here. That this ain't no. He don't know me. That ain't no. He never met me for real. Cause Rico Reckless the type that on funeral grade you better. I, I want to see you shoot that motherfucker. Shoot me too. I ain't gonna lie. So this ain't no. He don't know me. So it's all cool. But I ain't gonna lie. Butter got way more. Sh Butter on the computer making the whole Chicago look better right now. That man bringing up. Got, that man bringing up. Man, I just saw some. Sh man. They, man, they talking about duck murder. This man bringing up five different murders. They got nothing to do with nothing. If you don't get your ass on, dude, wrong with you, your ass, tweak it. What you on the computer doing that for, Scud? Get your ass on, let's go through fake ass teeth, Scud. This is real, if you read some Johnny Dang gang, these bitches called up 40 gang, it's different. These bitches, what, what they say? These bitches hit different gang. These whoops hit different. What's wrong with you, goofy <laughs> boy? Y'all, this boy, them boy, you gonna get black gums. Yep, yep, Stop doing yep. that. FBG Butter's in a weird situation because. And his ass on, he. He is voluntary. 
He is volunteering all for information. Yeah. <laughs> That's crazy. Now look right here. Hold on, cause we finna find it, cause I got the video. I, I got the video that started the whole beef. And we can and I want you can cause can can you incorporate this in the shit? Cause I want them to see this shit. Yeah, I, I I can play it. I can send me the link this is, and send it to This me. is what started I'll play the whole beef with end up right here. Now, what did the term say? What is this right? This I, and this of the world y'all might don't know, but and R.I.P. Duck because I'm not on here trying to keep talking about his R.I.P. I'm not trying to because it, it 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 is what it is, folks. Yeah. Like it is what it is. I'm R.I.P. Scud, whatever. But this was started. Scud don't like me because of this right here. This, this was right started. Uh, I was at a different spot early. My music has say got me in a better position early, so I looked different i was already optimistic i was already trying to help the city i was already trying to bring change while they were still in the trenches like now nah, that we bdk i'm like yeah bdk i'm bdk tdk and that fat and i'm one of the most they mad me for dropping the five but i'm just showing that how i'm just not you know what i know pick yeah. aside i'm trying to i'm trying to show that look pete this even though i'm saying fuck you i'm saying that to say this there ain't no favoritism so it's fuck you but you but i also can fuck with you because i'm record drinking game we we fuck whoever fuck with us, I've been saying that for since I've been rapping right around. Yeah, 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 right. People don't like that, but whatever though. Well, let's get to this. Them, them, take that and post it right there on Tuka. We make them move out the city like we do all the other rappers now. So now, uh, now we got a real clear understanding of who started the beef. What happened? Yeah. Now I can speak my part. I was rapping. I'm trying to get rapping. These niggas had a hundred chance to get on. Duck, and he had a hundred chance to get on, but he didn't want to get on for real. Jojo, he fucking, they, they let his ass get killed. Nobody really could have, cause they could have stopped that shit from happening. Then, hey, stop with the boy, folks on music. Nobody did that. P, P Rico had his own hang with me. Nigga, yo, guy, he was finna come sign P Rico. P Rico told yo, guy, his ass need like seven, eight million. I don't even think yo, guy, he had that much at that time. <laughs> so, like, get your stupid ass on. So, now I get a chance out the blue, the, the underdog, out the blue. No more, nobody know, nobody give a f about. I end up from my Greek uncle, we end up making so much noise, and now I got my own brother. Shit. Now I got shit going on 24 7. Mm -hmm. Now everybody f me, everybody, I'm getting off of label deals, I'm making money, life is good now. I get a call from, because remember, I made the hit em up song. In the hit em up song, yeah, yeah. I, I did G Herbo, I did so and so. Me and G Herbo talked about it on the phone. He's like, bro, I ain't gonna ask Funny as hell, gang. Like, I, I can't even get mad because you low key funny. Like, yo, ass slow, dude. Yeah. Like, I can see it in your face. You slow. I'm like, and you were pretty I'm much, like, you were dissing everybody. I'm like, right? I'm like, I'm fried, gang. Like, like, it's like, yo. So he was like, this, man, look, come, I got a, um, uh, I'm gonna drop my CD, Humble Beast. You can come to it. It's gonna be hella people that you should meet. Good for your business. All right. You should come here. At the time, nigga, Dirk can't even go to his motherfucker. Uh, release party and this was his home you know what I know yeah. so with me having like a big name I went cause you invited me I went you know what I know like cause I, I appreciate the opportunity because low key you could have stopped my money by saying well, 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 so you got a certain room for people and they like man what, well, what's the Rico Records oh no nah. it's, it's real that you heard one that saying I f*** Rico Records like he cool which well, he could have said I don't do it and stop my money you know what I know yeah. he helped me get some money so I have to respect that and I'm like he a real nigga I'm gonna go with him and show support because he this is his first album. Yeah. On the way to there, I go to everybody knows Steve from Exclusive. Steve 773 from Instagram. Steve Exclusive 773. He like a, a nigga from Chicago that if you came up from Chicago, Steve showed love to you. Okay. If he was a rapper coming up, Steve invited to a store. He got you shoes, clothes, cell phones, games, whatever for your family just to, so he can show you that it's good people in the city and they want to see you keep winning. I give you whatever one in my store, my nigga, just keep making music and keep helping the, the fucking youth know that we can make it out. Steve is a, a good, influential, good person. He do turkey drives, he do toy drives. He bring niggas together. My first time meeting Lil B, B and G Herbo and them was with Steve. You know what I know? Yeah. So it's like, so I go to exclusive to get some shoes to go to the G Herbo shit because with Steve, all I do is say, hey Steve, I need some shoes and go to the G Herbo shit. He gonna get any kind you want and get an outfit. I don't gotta pay nothing. Like Steve is that type of nigga. So I go there and it's Mimo there from 600. But I don't know Mimo from 600, but I know Ede, cause me Ede got the song. So he like, man, you did the song, my homie Ede. I'm, oh yeah, what I got out the band? He, man, yeah, man. That's that's my brother, Lil Steam, man. Yeah, I be saying, f Lil Steam, man. That's my brother, man. So I'm like, oh, it's your brother? I right, well, now that I met you and you cool, we ain't gonna be saying, f Lil Steam no more. Just don't be saying, f Cause at the time, you know, we Jojo Rats. So don't be saying, f Jojo then. He, I right, bet. So we cool. We take the video. So you and Mimo had that conversation I'm a, I'm, early. I'm gonna knock Mimo 
the fuck out and I'm knocking out and I'm spinning this shit when I catch him. Yeah, well, I'm now, gonna get to that. Now, That's on the list. <laughs> now, but back then, I ain't had no problem with him. And I'm gonna tell you why the problem occurred because it was like, now you saw the video, right? Yeah. Now, because of Steve, we. Even in the video, he was saying that, yo, Rico Reckless is trying to is trying to rap it. I remember that time period. He's just trying to focus on rapping. And then Duck came but, 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 out. But, but, so, so I go, I post a video with Mimo. I didn't know the beef him and Mimo had. I didn't know that Mimo was a real member and they was in two or half. You know what I'm just yeah. know that I'm an exclusive with, with my homie Steve. Steve said, hey, he just got signed up for the OTF with him because you awesome, you kind of push your people and it'll be good. So when I post it, I ain't think none of it. Then I go post her, bro. I'm thinking I'm doing something good from, for the community. Mm-hmm. Like, well, I was sad because at the time they said we was blackballed. How we blackballed when I just went on FaceTime with Fredo Santana all night in a fat ass mansion and he telling me to come to his house and he gonna put me with this person, put me with this person where I can get some money. I'm like, we in the door. What the fuck you talking about blackballed? Yeah. So the next one I woke up today, it was kind of strange to me, like, but then again, they say that what they what the shit was on Instagram, baby. They talk so, about some of that niggas. Well, he low key wanted to get into it anyway. That's all that was about. Duck low key wanted to get into it anyway because he didn't like the way I was moving, probably. So when he did that, what do you think I did, gang? Like you hopping the computer, you just said, "Oh, Tuka, you better make us move." And I'm scary, so you know me. I'm Tuka then. Yeah. Let's do it. Like I'm not ducking no beef. Your name is Duck. Y'all not. Let's do it then. I'm on 75th, bitch. Let's do it. And, and then that, that, that was the time period where you went to his hood and you were. Right, nigga, I'm were, the why they you're say, pretty much. I'm the reason why they say that we knocked him 63 because I went on that laid on the ground. I remember that. Laid on the ground. Oh, sh- what are we doing today? Yeah. Remember that? Yeah. The, on live. I remember it. No why? Six. Why? No six, nine. I ain't post this later. I, I went live walking from the old block to mother. In Cottage Grove, nigga. I remember the live. I watched the whole live. I ain't play with these niggas. I... Remember, and you were kind of dangling your feet like you was hanging them off of a, like this, like the Kevin Hart joke. Yeah, it's come on. Funny. Okay, all right. But man, you, you, yeah, you uh, yeah I, I, right. I've been watching a long time, man. Been, yeah. But what's crazy is, I think people forget how yeah, things start sometimes, short, right? though, That That's what it was. Like, he tried to start with me, gang, and I just won back it down. Other people used to be fake. I ain't gonna lie. Niggas used to be scared of Duck. Yeah. Like, other, because he was being but man, that has always been a bitch to me. And I'm sorry that I, I don't want to di- diminish nobody's character, but I never saw Scud do another besides dance on top of cars. Like, all right. So I never was like, man, get the fuck on. Um, but, but because I fuck with Yellow Boy, because Yellow, like, just like, because me, Yellow Boy. Man, you mean King Yellow? Because me, Yellow Boy, man, yeah, King Yellow, man, we, we were talking a lot lately also. Because sure. me, Yellow Boy used to fuck each other heavy. He just sometimes rubbed me wrong way with certain things, but Yellow always been. Cool to me. It's not time I know. Like we ain't, he ain't never. So because of him, and he asked me, like man, you know that's my dog. I'm not gonna say fuck up. You know what I know? Yeah. Because of Yellow Boy. Because I fuck with Yellow Boy. You know what I know? Yeah. But so, but I kind of always kind of thought they was kind of more. I kind of carry me. I used to think they was kind of goofy though, gang. Because you got to think I always fuck with every side. Like so, it's like so me sometimes I go up on this side. And you will see folks of them, they ran around all black with, with 50 shots in the car trying to kill somebody. Then I go on this side, of y'all stand on top of a gas station dancing. It's like, man, y'all, y'all, there's two different shit going on out here. Like, y'all tripping. Like, these niggas trying to kill y'all. Y'all trying to end But in all fairness, right? You're, 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 you're a reckless renegade, right? So you, you shouldn't have. I know. I don't like, give a fuck about what's like, right. I'll say fuck Vaughn. I'll say fuck Duck. Yeah. Or I'll say RP Vaughn and I'll say RP Duck. Yeah. Like, I don't care. I'm me. But, and I was going to get to this point. It seems like man, they kept putting you in all this stuff. They right? put me in everything because you have because I'm because I'm because I'm the nigga that niggas want to be, and I and I'm saying that humbly and I'm saying that respectfully. But right, nigga, on Fooling Gray, I never signed no record deal. I got over 100 million YouTube views on my own. I got over 19 CDs out on my own. I got songs with some of the biggest artists you know. I'd have been on tour with some of the biggest artists you know. I'm taking care of my family. I'm living good, and I'm doing all this off the strip of God and myself. And I never had to sign nobody paperwork. I never had to go to PC. Never had to snitch. Never had to fuck let a nigga fuck with my. I never had to do no shit to acquire what I got, and I always stood on me. So that's why niggas real like me. Why, 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 why would you like a nigga like me? <laughs> you could see me right now in a real life time, and I'm gonna shake your hand, and you could be like, hey, you a I want to fight, and I'm gonna fight you the same day. Yeah. Or you could see me in real life time, like, hey, let's have a dance battle, and I'm gonna turn to Chris Brown in your dumb ass. <laughs> or, you could, or you could pull out a basketball, we could have a, I'm whatever the you want to do, and this is real life. I'm not fucking nigga. Yeah. You want to meet these rap niggas, these niggas fake as hell. I broke down to my the other day, like, nigga, you know why the rap game is so fake? Because every time you meet a nigga, it's your brother. You don't even know these niggas. Man, my brother, what up, gang? We locked in, yeah, you my nigga for life, yeah. Hey, this one nigga right here, to my nigga, act like he don't know you. Yeah. Then you can still call my phone whatever the next day, and I'm like, what up, gang? The f- 
I mean, I ain't forget what I told you. I wasn't drunk or, or that how y'all might have been out the lean and shit, but I remember. And it seems, it seems fake. And I think, man, this is me on the outside looking in. I think that's why you resonate with a lot of people because you're authentic. You know what I'm saying? They, they say I'm the, they say I'm the fakest one. They say Rico fake because how Rico fake? He from this hood, but he f- with this hood, just like Rico fake. He's saying RB Duck and Vaughn. Once again, like, on the outside looking in, yeah, I wouldn't say you're fake. And this is me being honest to you, man. Uh, I would say this. And, and, but, listen, but, and this but, ain't good. You know, what I would say I, fake, I, I, I gotta get this. You know, what I would say fake, those what? teeth up at FBG Buttermouth. <laughs> and he's real BB. Well, you, uh, you, uh, you got a lighter? I'll f around and break the glass in his. I gotta give this critique though, man. Sometimes you are sporadic. Like some things that you'll say, it'll sometimes uh, it's like why did I why did why did he say that, bro? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Did I say that? Right. Cause hey. I don't gotta. Cause sometimes I don't know when I probably say what I'm not supposed to yeah, say. Like yeah, yeah. sometimes, like that, and that goes into me growing up. I had to learn that, like, just because I know exactly what happened, that don't mean I'm supposed to see it. If that means, if that, yeah, you gotta learn when to shut the up as a grown man and like I didn't know that sometimes sometimes like for instance like you go to one of these Hollywood parties like and they finna get mad at me for this but like you ever saw like the Hollywood Illuminati party you, people see I never even reached that level to probably get there but let me tell you some shit like this so you go to one of these 30 million dollar mansions and it'll be some crazy shit going on this one you'll see you'll walk through this one and they're over there sucking uh, this is me the most famous person you ever knew in your life but he over there just out in the public just snoring coke and sucking a nigga and doing all type of shit. And then nobody act like they see what's going on. And then as soon as you be like, man, y'all see nigga with a second, they like, you gotta get out. See your records, man. Yo, I was already gonna say so. Like, yeah, we saw it, but now I'm in trouble for saying what the fuck y'all been seeing. It's like, but I had to learn that, man. Just, man, I don't, I don't see that shit. I'm about the man. Cat yeah. Williams and Button B. Everybody has talked about these parts. Every rapper, like, it's because I didn't see them. Up. That's yeah. why I ain't that. And, and I'm sorry to say, but that's why I'm probably ain't over big yet because I like my. Oh, you for the stick no big in my ass just for a million dollars. Y'all can keep that million dollars. I'll keep grinding it. Recently, Charleston White just came out. That's man, my uncle. And he was having a wild man, That's my uncle. Hey, Charleston, bro. I'm saying, for you, like, you want to call your nephew, gang? Like, damn, for it's me, Ricky Reckless. Call your nephew. <laughs> and he had a situation. He went out to Vegas and he was kicking away. He went, if, went Charleston White, if Charleston White was in Chicago, they would have been knocked out of the nah, I'm pretty sure. He'd but I call him, though, because, because he said what he want to say. Yeah, it is. Oh, I, just, I, I have no beef with you, Charleston. I right, man, look, say what you want to say. Just don't say shit about me because I'm gonna say something back. I did an interview with him recently, right? Yeah. And it was it was a few months back. And he's got some people in Chicago, man. Yeah. Like, like he does. He got no like I talked to some niggas that say that they really fuck with this man. Like they were like, bro, he cool, he doing these think about it. If you can be if folks like what well, how old he is, like 40, 50, yeah, just imagine about it right now. If you could just hop on the computer and get the same and start getting money. When you be saying motherfuckers every day, I never stop. I, it'll be it'll be the motherfuckers Friday. It'll be motherfuckers Tuesday. Like it'll, it'll go down. And so he's doing what he's supposed to do. And he's made some M's the last huh? two years. You know what I'm saying? And, and he was giving back. Yeah. I already gave Doug Mama some money. Yeah. He said he fucked me. Get my money back, man. <laughs> <laughs> with the uh, with the car, he's like, well, I don't already know that was in his DJ U and I hear. He like, wow, yeah, is that's that DJ U? That's my boy. Yeah, that was wild, man. That was wild. But he said the same cut, thing, man. man. He was like, they was trying to set him up, like put him in a dang Illuminati twist, Aiden Ross today. And you you worked with Aiden Ross. Right? I no, thought you. I just got a PlayStation like two weeks ago. I'm just now learning about Twitch and all this shit. I, I never knew these niggas was famous off the video. These niggas mean niggas off the video game? Yeah. Oh. Hey, y'all, f- rap. Come, come on, Call of Duty right now. Oh. That shit. These niggas mean off video games? Bruh. What the f are we doing? Oh, they, hey, let's go, let's go to GameStop. Well, I'm, not, go. I'm not even talking NBA money. They getting and soccer money. You know what I'm saying? I'm talking about. They, they get uh, all no money? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Hey, yeah. They get all like, no baseball yeah, money? Like, hey, 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 Eight hundred, I mean, eighty mils a year type still. You know what I'm saying, bro? Man, what the fuck? I think video games, man. I'm gonna stop playing. What? See, see, just for that, look, I'm what? putting out, look, I'm putting out my last CD, then my last couple CDs this year. I'm gonna play the video game. I think you would do really good on a kick or twitch, man. man I just, just because of your I personality. Just, I just made kick and twitch yesterday. Oh, okay. God, I just did, didn't I? Follow okay, I don't follow my kick and my twitch. Reckless for real. I thought you had worked with Aiden Ross in the back. I know, back. I know all those niggas. I be seeing the nigga Cat doing against uh, thirty. I like yeah, that nigga. Yeah. Then I be seeing Aiden Ross. I ain't know. I'm thinking they just famous because you know we live in the world. You could just be famous. Yeah. These niggas. Got rich on video games. Yeah, yeah. Hey, hey, I'm calling my son. Hey, son, play the f- out that game tonight. <laughs> and the crazy part is, nowadays they don't even play the game. They got started playing the game, and people watch them play the game. Now they just sit there and talk. They come up with little 
like different things that they do. If you if you ever get a chance to watch Aiden Ross and Charleston or Charleston White, that you live that they did. The one I didn't see the live, but I saw the one where he was just arguing with Charleston was just arguing with the nigga with dreads. Yes. Nigga yeah. on the bus, he was over dancing in front of Charleston yeah. when he playing Vaughn. Yeah. Man, Charleston ran yeah. the Charleston, man, I amazed the fuck out too. Yeah. So you gonna amaze me? Yeah. That was the yeah, I saw Aiden like, bro, what the fuck, bro? Just yeah. Bro, like I shout out Aiden for put me on the show, Scud. Like, put me in, can somebody can one of y'all video games stream with come take me on your wing and show me how this shit goes so I, I can think, forget. I you think you can do really good. I'm down, gang. Yeah. Come here, buddy. Let's do it on for them. Hey, hey, hopefully it happens. Hopefully they hopefully see this. Hopefully they see this. For them, they do Well, what's kind of, what I was going to talk about, like, since we went to um, Hollywood, West Coast, for a little bit, you spent some time over there at No Jumper, right? Well, that's my dog, Adam 22. Yeah. I do not want to fuck his wife. <laughs> I'm the only one, I'm the only friend he got. And then I say that, like, that's my nigga. I don't want to fuck her, because that's my nigga. Yeah. All right. Which is kind of weird when it's your old boy, you know what I'm saying? Well, I don't want to fuck my own wife. But what's even weirder is, like. That nigga took me to meet Gucci, man. If oh, you right. know me, Gucci, man, my favorite rapper. Like, Bum J, Gucci, man, Lil Wayne, well, fuck it. What? Nigga, Walla Vlogger, well, fuck it. Yo Gotti, motherfucking Cameron, Eminem, I love these future. Why? I love these niggas. So it's like, nigga, it was one point when Gucci got out of jail, he didn't want nobody close to him, touching him. That nigga, Adam had a pass at Rolling Loud that he was the only person that didn't have to need permission or needed to, he, he had unlimited access point and he brought me and he gave me the un, unlimited access point with him. So we was able to walk up. So it was like, it was one point on the shit where they told everybody, cause we on stage, they like, everybody gotta move cause he don't Gucci man. Except y'all. Damn. So we got the so just I so this is me watching Gucci Man perform. Like you <laughs> you you Gucci Man. I'm right there like yeah, they're hard. Like I never like I'm what the but I don't watch this nigga since I've been I'm what the and I'm like I'm like you that you that plugged in like cause nobody was able like we was bro I can show the video it was just me Adam and then I'm like like it was like Gucci was just rapping like looking wrong it was rapping for the show but the show was back there we like right I'm like what the. F- like, nah, that's my dog. He got, yeah, Adam 22 got a lot of power. He even, he even put him up his own forever. He put that yeah. front bowl. He put that. This hell up. Opportunity. I mean, that man yeah. was his platform to really help push a motherfucker's brand. That man, and even like, even like one of my, like, nigga, nigga, booked me for a show one time with, with, with fucking Melly up on Halloween. And me and Melly had a Halloween show for No Jump. I remember that. I, I was here reading to that motherfucker. They was like, what? Yeah. Oh, and that was man. crazy. Okay, I, man, I, I don't want to. I don't want to keep running from one topic to the next because you know you you definitely have a lot of good stories. But when you were working at, at No Jumper, and I think no, no, it was after that time you had did a Vlad interview where you talked about your relationship with Terry Reed and how she was looking out for you. I think when you got locked up, right? Well, Terry they wrote a letter to the judge. My judge paused the trial, like, bro, is this really Terry Reed? Yeah, I'm like, her biggest fans. I'm like, that's my homie. Like she didn't have knocked off five years off my sentence because of that. I love you, Terry. I'm my BF. You definitely live in a different world, man. This is crazy, bro. Like, because, you know, she where she first get her start off on um what's the American, American plot? There you go. Then she did f- Well, she told Sharknado. me. She said that she did some f- called um like some survival f- called like brothers or yeah. else. And she said they pay a million dollars for the episode. Yeah. Like she's ter- like Terry the first. Person that took me on the Hollywood shopping spree. Karen bought me a ring one time. It was like twenty thousand dollars. She for no reason. Like, uh, this, I'm like, the f- like, it's just like white people got different. Like, she showed me that like, it was different. Like, she yeah. it was levels to this shit. Like, Terry used to give me the keys to her house, the keys to her car. And I'd be riding down Rodeo in a drop top, like in her shit, like smoking. Like, like, what the f- I'm blocking. Like, people. now this was during the whole time you were over there working on No Jumper. Right? I wasn't working for No Jumper. This is my dog. I wasn't okay. never worked for him. This just this is my homie. And he just always just, just invite me. Okay, Anyone you tell me little, invite me. That was a little confusing, but nah, I never worked with him. You guys did a, um, I think it was like a, a four person panel one time, yeah. and there was like this adult star. I think she was kind of like eight yeah. or something. And then there was um, Adam Twenty Two and his wife, right? Look, he used to tell me this all the time. I have a new interview. Make them feel uncomfortable as possible. Like, like not saying that, but like, be Rico reckless. Like, do not not be you because I'm interviewing so so. Be you so I can see how they react to somebody like you around. So I'm yeah. being a I hear that. I was, I was like, well, he must work there now. So no, no, this is my dog. Like oh, yeah. right now, it's like to this day, like he just DM me like other day, he just DM me like, man, come on. Come on, let's do it. I'm like, all right, but I'll be out there. He man, do you want me to book the ticket? Do he do you want me to get your crib? Do you want me to book you the ticket? Um 
Yeah, I come. I don't let me. He wish. What are you doing anyway, bro? I'm uh, let me tell you what I'm doing. I'm gonna come. So I gotta go out there. Like I probably go out there next week. So is it a possibility that you will will be working with them uh, like in the future, like on a show? Or you don't want to spoil that? Let, let it be known, man. If you don't want to spoil it, it's good. I don't know about like because it's like this is my dog like working. I don't know like long as like long if, if it makes sense, if it makes sense, and we can and, and if the fans want it and it makes sense, then you know we I'm 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 all for the fans game. I'm a business man. I'm, I'm, I'm just a little bit man. I ain't, ain't nothing wrong with being a business. Like, I don't got no beef with nobody standing for the camera. I have no beef with nobody. Any past beefs, they out the window. I love everybody. God is too good. I'm just a business man. So if you want to do business with me, hit my DM. Hit that email that's in my, that's in my Instagram bio. We could do business. I don't care about who know who, who used to know what, who said f- who. I'm a business man. As long as the money on the wood, we good. Give me the f- and I hate to even, man, that was perfect, perfectly said. So what we'll do is we're going to have to put this somewhere else in the interview. I'm going to chop all this out because I wanted to ask you, more, you know, about this Ed Glizzy situation. Oh, come on. What, did you hear the song? Yeah, no, I didn't. That Rico really more f***ing regulars. Get spitting your ass. No, I didn't. I'm making her see all night last night. I ain't hear it. I ain't hear it. I'm not spitting. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Let it go. Hold on. Let it go. Hold, on. Hold, on. Hold on. Let's find it because... I liked it. It was kind of like a good song. Hold on. And what I was going to say with your with your Aunt Glizzy uh, situation, were you man? But, but I, it seems like this is me just watching Aunt he, Glizzy he, outran. He, it seems like he's, he picked everybody who and, was hot to talk to in this. And I think, man, and I was good. I wouldn't just say this on the whole day. What did he do that whole day? He kept the whole day. He was so, it was like, I, I gave him what he wanted. That's why when I go last, what did I do? I didn't do nothing. I didn't. All I did was show him how I live. Yeah. See, I'm like. You showed him your house. You showed him your car. You showed him you were shooting the basketball. I said, man, this is a mature Rico I'm, Rico what, right here. What are, we, what, are we, what, what are we arguing about? My life is too good. I can walk outside my house and play basketball right now. Yeah. God is good. There you go. There you go. Oh, I can go from this living room to this living room to the, like, God is good. What so this is the question. About? Do you think he was just cloud chasing? Of course. Everyone cloud chasing because if you don't know what's going on, people, I'm from where you really get killed, gang. They really kill Scud. Like, like, if he's good, he act like he came to Chicago. If you really so gangster and so savage, come to Chicago and go. This is my thing with people. Y'all come to Chicago and f- go live on the corner. If y'all, this go for any tough ass person that want a rapper. When I, we ain't gonna say random people, we'll say rappers and entertainers. Y'all think Chicago is so sweet. I want to see you take your phone. I want to see you go book a flight to Chicago O'Hare or fucking Midway Airport. Land, hop in a mother. Get you a black truck driver, a Uber, go to the fucking whoever you think you know, get you a fucking gun, cause you're gonna need one, and go to a corner. You can go to you can go to the suburbs, you can go to the Gold Coast, and I want you to have your gun on you, and I want you to go live and stay there in real time and say, hey, come on, and see what happened. Because if you saw gangster, you would do it. Cause I bet you I'd do that. I I would Where you, you didn't saw it. <laughs> you didn't saw me do it in different states. You saw me go to yeah. this state and go live in real time. I ain't posted later. I'm real time because I'm a different breed. I kinda wanna see. So, <laughs> but I'm telling you, it was gonna happen if you go down Chicago. It's gonna happen. Yeah. Like it's going to happen. Like it's going to happen. It's a, like, 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 I, when you want to see some white, look, look, this is, look, this is some funny shit. This is between me and you. This is not for, this is, see, I'm sorry, but you get personal shit too. Yeah, I think everything out for the camera. Look at this though. Look at what was said though. Look, this look though, look though. Hold on, what's the look, look though. Look though, just look at this up. Now don't, and don't say who it is, but look though, cause hold on, you see who it is, right? Look, man, you see who it is, right? All right, look, that's my boy. You don't say who it is, but look though. But look what was said though. Look, we talking about this right, look. And what did he say? Just, just, just say that. What did he say? I wish he was from the rat. You know what I mean? Because why? You know why he said that? Because you would get your ass killed by yeah. playing certain games. But since you're not, you can play them. Have them all. Like that's why I'm coming. I'm a crack. I'm gonna help him get to where you want to get to. But whenever you really want to see what's going on, just come on. Yeah, think about it, gang. Just gang. You can come with me, gang. I, I'll, I'll take you on a on a tour wherever you want to go. We can go to O Block. We go to Sixty Third. I will take you. We can go to Ono oh, No Limit. We can go on one the on Young Money. Where I we can go to. I will take you personally. But I'm letting you know this. I can't. I I can't tell you that ain't nothing gonna happen. I can't yeah. guarantee that. I can't. And, it, it, it was, and just like the fact that I can come to your shit and I can then I guarantee you shit gonna happen. 
you can't get with these without more shit. So like we two in the life. Yeah, certain so, cities. I support man. you, Aunt Glizzy. I hope that you make you with one of them weak ass songs. I know Shot Glizzy though. I never heard of you. I was in fucking LA at motherfucking some shit called We Jamming. They put like the the, the fresh, they put like cereal up on your fresh toast and your pancakes and shit. And shout out Shaq Liz. He gave me some of his weed. He had some weed called um like yeah, like a like a like a skull. Or like, something? Yeah, like, okay. like a skull on it. But shout out Shaq Liz. See, I know the real member. I don't know the off brands. Yeah. See, I know the fruit loops. I don't know the whoops. Yeah, yeah, I'm, saying, I'm, I'm I'm not trying to diss. I'm I'm saying like I don't know like the like it's it's what is it's fruity pebbles and then it's colorful pebbles that are then sell at Aldi's. Yeah, yeah. I'm stop trying to make me beast with the Aldi brand. I like the fucking the fucking the the HMV yeah. Jewel Osco brand. You know what I, mean? I think here with here with Shy Glizzy because he said some things about yeah. It see, shout, shout out, see, we like Shy Glizzy. Shout out Shy Glizzy. Like okay, even if like we know Shy Glizzy, we don't know you, so he's trying to get known. I know, and that's okay. Get known, like this me. I'm the first of this. I'm gonna come right back. I, I, I look. I have nothing. Do you see me? I have nothing. Do I have time on my hand? I'm being a father. I'm sending a fat ass crib, smacking a fat ass, playing a game now. Like. What are you talking about? Like, best tweak. So that started a series of different uh, lives that you were doing where you were going back and forth with people, which you really weren't. You were just flexing. Because you know there was another guy by the name of Paparazzi Poe. Nah, that, that's my boy. Okay. And that, just, that's my boy. I just talked I, I, I got Paparazzi Poe right now. Him and Riley. We talked to him. All, it's like, it was kind of went sometime. That's what I'm saying. That's another thing, too. Like, you ever seen that post? I just posted my Instagram story. And I was like... I, Cause my cousin just laughed at me. He like it was like it's a n- and like they supposed to be opposite. And then they like we, wait, we supposed to be ops. Wait, you got tattoos? What kind of, what's your favorite color? You really like, ain't too. It's like we. Oh yeah, like, it's, I it's see like that. We bump to an op y'all, and you yeah. low key like him. Y'all be cool. Like yeah. I, that's me. Like if I bump to a nigga that we supposed to be into it, but he cool, you cool. Like I'm not finna be trying to like. So me and Paul get into it over some random. Then he called my phone like, hey gang, low key. I might as well you gay like yo ass. Okay. Like, yo ass. And I'm like, yo had another flex off. And you was like, all right, let me show y'all the house. He was like, let me show you my son's my son's room or whatever. And he was like, they kind of went quiet. Cause they, they couldn't come back with anything. I was like, room, I noticed that. My son uh, 13 is room kind of okay. big for a 13 year old. Like his son, his mom, man, my son way room bigger. His son big my son room bigger than my jail cell. So I completed my mission in life. Yeah, no, nah, nah, that's weird. My bathroom bigger than my jail cell. I completed my mission in life. Like I was in my jail cell telling the CEOs, like when I get like I was telling the CEOs, like even the last house I had before I locked up was bigger than that. Even the one I had when I first got out was bigger than that. Like it was big, like I'm God bless me. I told the CEOs, like when I get out, y'all yeah, better enjoy seeing me this last cell because I get out. It's no, no more locked doors. <laughs> no more locked doors. Buddy, man. I get the reverence. Now, what is your opinion on a couple of people, man? Come what on. do you really think about FYBJ, man? He funny as f- You're hilarious. I don't, Pete, this, I don't have no animosity with him. I don't know him. I never met FYJ, man. I don't know that. I just found out today that that's not even his f- catchphrase. It ain't different. That's yeah. a f- scissor song. That's a scissor and f- uh, ten dollars up. He hit different. He hit different. Hit, and then she got two hundred million views from two years ago. So you stole that shit, guy. He didn't made it go. You he didn't made it go. Like, I'm thinking he made it up. So I heard the song say like it hit different. Me too. I'm like, cause I'm like, hey, like someone didn't make a song called it, it hit different. Then I heard this like, wait, this was made three years ago. I was in jail. Um, I ain't been doing nothing. But I'm getting his ass funny as like I'm, I like funny shit. Like he funny like. I be like I watch him. He would, he be like, yeah, I think I'm from Chicago, and like in jail, like when you want to make somebody mad, like well, like the CEOs, when the CEOs not want to give you attention, that's what you determine. Is I'm a bug up then. Like he not even really bugging up. You know, what bugging up is bugging up is you. Yeah. And then like, so this is a bug up in jail. I kick the door until the CEO come see what I want. Ah, hey CEO, hey CEO, hey CEO, hey CEO, hey CEO. <laughs> I do this all day long. That's bugging up. He only really bug up for real. <laughs> I'm, I say I'm a, I'm a bug, so I really bug up for real. So like, I my head like, man, he front this shit. Like, I, I'm a real bug. Like, I can show you, <laughs> but I'm, I, I, I got sense though. But so you do that just to get the CEO's attention, right? Yeah, because because in jail, you got they 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 not coming. Yeah. Why they come? So you really got a bug. So and the whole deck of do it, man. I finna bug up. Somebody say you ain't no motherfucking bug. What? Who ain't no bug? And, then, ah! and I just kicking the shit, doing shit on game, and that's how I go. <laughs> for the guy, like anybody been in jail, that's what that's what goes. So it's like he funny, like. And then my only thing with him was just like, I know he from sixty thirty, and like sometimes they don't like me, but I like y'all. Like R.P. Doug, like it was a misunderstanding, bro. I, I didn't kill him. The f- 
So don't be mad at me. I'm not there. <laughs> and then another thing too though. Can I say it? But we'll leave it alone. Cause she told me to leave it alone. But I don't like Duck Mama doing all that bullshit though. But lady. From the Charleston way. I know. She, she front her shit gang. She want justice for our son so bad. But your son was out here trying to do the same shit that happened to him. So it's not fair. You got to People right here. If something happened to me on from the grade, it's whatever. You got to accept it because I'm not super squeaky clean. I, it's some from my past that people might be mad at. And so I wouldn't want my mama on the computer doing that. Yeah. I'm saying it right now. If nothing gonna happen to me, I'm gonna be at time like 97, probably 99. I'm, but a lot of people say they should play both sides. Now, it's because it's like if your son was out here doing hits, trying to get people killed and all type of shit, now he get killed, just leave it alone. It, that's what it's it's what happens. Why are you trying to want somebody to go to why you want it's karma. So why would you want somebody to go to jail? I don't want them to go down. You know, shut the you in the one house, you gonna suck it on OnlyFans. And you just can't even suck it. You haven't seen the OnlyFans? Nah. You can't even suck it. Like, come on, bro. You embarrassed this stud. You, you, see, wait, you suck it on your ass. You suck it like, I get, yeah, I get you a look, man. Your ass, did, 60, man. Suck it like you're 60. Take some teeth out. How did you see Mama Duck's uh, OnlyFans? They sent it to me. Oh, somebody just sent it to you. I got it. Yeah. I want to, I want to fuck her until I met her. She made, well, I was talking about her. I was on Mama Duck ass. I'll show you my DM. I'm on every day. And with the jewelry emoji. Come on. So I want to fuck with that, beat that up. Just because your son was saying fuck me, so I'm going to fuck you. Who met her? But now, but now I got to, that was back, that was the old record. Yeah, yeah. I'm respectful now, Lashina. I'm sorry for thinking like that. I don't want to fuck you no more because my wife, I don't want to fuck you. But I think you need to just stop doing that, bro, because Duck, Cartoon, that's what they call him, Cartoon Weekly. Cartoon, now you Not just man, but Cartoon, <laughs> Cartoon, bro. Just let him rest in peace, bro. Like, I'm sorry that that happened to Carlton. But Carlton was out here trying to do some shit too. And I'm sorry, and I'm not trying to be negative. So yellow boy, I'm not trying to be negative. You know, I love yellow boy. Uh, being in black comic too one day. Like, bro, you know I'm going to have a problem with you, bro. Just stop saying, look, bro. I'm like, all right, bro. I'm over here. I'm over here. I'm over here. I'm over here. Whatever, though. But it's just like, uh, yeah, bro. And then, bro, like, was there any animosity? Because there were rumors that you had gotten into a fight with it, with, the, with his brother and her son, too. I never, bro. I never, bro. So I hear an FBG break never. I met Brick one time in jail, gang. And, oh, really? and he was, and I watched him turn from GD to BD. And I told him, like, why you do that for? He's like, man, I've been BD. I right, what you talking about? I know you was. You know, like, like, he was a fight, whatever, bro. Like, Lil did it too. Lil was BD my whole life. I never knew he was GD till he just got out. They just started GD when he started doing that shit. I swear to God. But anyway, though. Brick used to call the nigga. I swear to God, and I fuck it then. I gotta say this one time. When I get, Brick used to call me all the time, and and, and this is what Brick used to do when he called me. <laughs> Let me see. He go show up somebody's camera, and and then because I always just keep a gun on me, so he always test my like my brush was always at it. Like no matter, he call me at four o'clock in the morning, and I'd be sleeping. Ah. Right bitch on the pillow. So that was our little joke. Oh, uh, yeah, we had a little relationship for us. Then he'd call me and I always have a gun. Then one day he just woke up saying, fuck me. And then, like, then, like, I, then karma would do the universe. I don't know what the fuck happened to Scud. And then, like, the, and even when he died, I said, all right, he's good. And, like, they still got mad at me for this shit, man, all the band, because Doug made a song called We Go Reckless. So he made a song called We Go Reckless. What the fuck do that for? I, and I found out later that the nigga who made the song, wanted me on the song, he wanted to pay me. Like two thousand for the song at the time, my future plans were like six thousand. I'm like, I'm gonna take two thousand. You know, he's gotta come with four. He so he paid Duck the two thousand. So he hopped on the song called Rico Records. I DM Duck, I showed the DM. I DM Duck, I say, Roger make a song called Rico Records. He he his, say, bitch, bitch, that nigga don't even about you. Out the bam, I say, well, you shouldn't. Well, well I, I'm taking it about me, so I, I hopped on a slide remix, and then I put brick on the beginning of the slide because he was saying for me, but. R.I.P. them though, bro. I'm not. R.I.P. Card and Jermaine, man. Look, man. Yeah. man. R.I.P. Card and Jermaine, man. That's tough, man, for a mom to lose two sons like that. Man, man. she as hell. She had to tighten up. Yeah. I, I heard it's another one that, 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 that's cruising for a bruiser. I'd rather him stay the f in the house. Who's that? I don't know, but he better stay the f in the house. Cause it's, cause, cause You're talking about another one of her sons? I, I suppose it's legal. Because I heard, I heard when you go outside, man, the water don't stop. I heard that it's raining all down 63rd. So I badge your ass. Unless you got a poncho, or unless you got a real umbrella, stay your young ass in the crib game. Don't jump in this water game with sharks game. Cause keep this, I'm, me over here, I'm preaching positivity. I'm mixed. I'm only like, I'm only in Chicago politics because I'm really from the trenches. So like, I try to help shit and try to fix shit. Think about me. I was the first nigga sharing. It's nobody from Chicago, the video I didn't share. 
Sure. Yeah. Ain't nobody. We talking about from from Polo G first rapping nigga and his finna get on. I'm sharing this shit to Cowboy to to Valet to Mother THF Lilo. Nigga, I'm sharing everybody's shit when I would help it. I got half of me followers using my fan base to put on you because I love the coach. I love the music. Even with Doug, when he when he made Chicago Legends, I say, oh, he he finally get it. I, I shared that. Then you go next week and make that something fun. This shit. You know what I mean? Like I'm like I'm a I'm very optimistic. I'm, I'm I look at it from every angle. I'm not just gonna no. That's why I always that's why I prosper. I think that's why God because he like damn like you. God, that's, that's my, I ain't no dad. God, my daddy. So like my dad makes sure I'm good. You feel like because you 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 seem to have a good heart. You know what I'm saying? You got a good ass heart. Yeah. So it's a possibility that that's why you you're successful. You kind of when this all started, like you said, man, you were like. No, but you were kind of like because of all the things that were going on 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 the one side of the thing. I only jumped in the beef because I live right there, and, yeah. and it was going down. I'm like it then, I had hella weapons. Like let's do it. Yeah, y'all saw. It. Yeah, it was one point where you only saw me with a gun. Yeah. You know, every picture, gun, every video, gun. Yeah. Now you can't pay me to have a gun. Well, what's a gun? I don't, you you win some. <laughs> you lose some, Fred. Yeah, I throw these bitches. Y'all say I can't fight. Come fight me. You see me? I bet y'all kick your. So with with ALKD, do you guys are like, who the fuck is that? Uh, here you go. Who the fuck is that? I just said ALKD. He laid out his damn mama. Yeah, I, I I support ALKD. I share one of the videos too. Yeah, I, I saw him in person one time, and he like, dang, can I take a picture with you, gang? Say, come on, I take a picture with him. Like, I'm not. That situation took up a large part of time between you two, where it was like it wasn't. When you, well, didn't you didn't. What he always allegedly going to his crib and allegedly punked him out right in front they of him. They kicked his ass. Even though I and seen the he, video he, and I look, saw we all saw what happened. He, he, he forever got animosity because he got his ass picked. But like I told them, nigga, he lucky that's all it was. They just had put belt to ass. You can just take that little bruise and man, go on, man. I ain't like he tried to lie. Like they stole my chain. He worked on his dead mama. All type of that man crazy. I said, anybody that lie on their dead mama. Anybody that a lie on their dead mama is a dangerous motherfucker. And I'm just saying that for the world. Like, if you allow on your dead mama, then stay your ass away from me. Because that means you a heartless. You allow your mama and she dead? Like, no, nah, like, you ain't got enough respect for the bitch to be like, all right, well, she dead. Let me at least not allow on her. Like, let me allow on somebody else. You, like, you, you, you can lie on Duck. Because yeah. I guess you ain't, if, 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 you can lie on him. You lie on your mama? No, nah, I ain't gonna lie. I only want to. Yeah, now, pretty, that's one person I don't want to do business with. Yeah, that's pretty rough. Once you lie on your mama, I don't want to do business with you. So, everybody can do business with me in Chicago except him because he lie on his mama. Now, with a lot of the Chicago rappers who were popping back then, they moved to different cities, man. They yeah. moved to Atlanta, they moved to Houston, yeah. they moved to LA, they moved to everywhere, right? I still live in Chicago right now. Yeah, now. I'm Chicago right now. Now. This is an interview in Chicago. <laughs> I don't know where the f yeah, right now. <laughs> now with that, people have moved on to other things. Some people are still rapping. Some are R. Diddy. Like, even before, you you mentioned P. Rico. I remember when P. Rico was... Bang, bro. Yeah, I got me excited. You looking at me. And then he kind of went away, right? But then... You moved on, and you're obviously doing better. Now, you what's up with you doing movies, man? I'm I mean, in, I all right, so this. I shot my first movie called Snow Game. I was just a fucking just... I got to just rob and shoot people in the movie, but it was so fun. and felt like so natural. Like, I was good at it. Like, I do this before, so I don't know. But it was so... It was a... It was a good experience because I'm really funny. Like, we're also... But honey, like, people always be like... Thinking I'm negative. I'm like aggressive. Like, you would say, I'm really aggressive. I'm really not like that. I really only get aggressive when, like... It's like aggressive situation or like some bullshit going on. But I'm really soft-spoken and I'm laughing and cracking jokes most of the time. So it's like... Uh, but I, I kind of like analyze. I'm, she say I overanalyze everything. So I kind of like look at everything. Like I don't like I look at shit like this. Like like for instance, like if I was a white person right now and I was set setting up the interview, I'm like, okay, this is what we need. We gotta get him with a hat on. Yeah, with some braids. Yeah, give him a white. Yeah, let's name him Tyrone. Yeah, it's Tyrone. Now I'll be doing the interview. Yeah, it's Tyrone with the white. With the braids, like yeah. I, I look at it as like if white people look at this shit as funny, like so it's like I kind of analyze shit like that when I'm dealing with shit. So like, and that's weird even with me, like being here, like people wearing this outfit, like I knew he was gonna bring up jail, so I wore this outfit. Like you know, I'm like I'm funny in my head, like yeah, like I'm Tyrone all day. Damn, I say like like I'm like like I'm not even not, not playing a character, but but, but like, like playing into the moment. All this shit is entertainment, but yeah, they just take it too serious because where yeah. we from, we niggas. Die. Yeah. But now that I'm not in that environment, in that space, now I can enjoy some of this shit. So like, even with like trying to like do movies and shit, like I can, I can. It's like it's like, for instance, 
I can, okay. I got videos that's got like millions of views, but I also got interviews that's had millions of views. <laughs> not a lot of rappers got that. You just gonna be one or like you have an interview that's doing numbers and music not doing shit, but like I was doing both. One time I know, so it's like that lets you know that I'm I'm just more than just a rapper. I'm an entertainer. Yeah. See, that's the difference between me and these rappers. They just rappers. They just gonna make drill, Jones, Kill Kill Bobby. I can do this, then I can leave here and I can go to the movie premiere with Terry Reed and I can f and sit down with the whitest people have conversations, or I can go to the trenches with the with the blackest of the niggas, or I can f go with the Italian one. Like I'm or like, oh, you can just put the camera on me, I can entertain you. I'm real rounded and then everything. Like you can I I didn't talk to the schools. I didn't fing went back and talk to prisons before. I'm the only nigga that got invited to a prison and got to talk to the prison while I was still in a prison. Really? Nigga was like, wait, hold up. Yeah, it's like crazy, nigga, I was in a prison, so, nigga. How and did they happen? Nigga, and nigga, I lead a prison, nigga, like they like this. Who's right here? We'll put you up on house arrest. But you gotta come and do like a like a uh, like talk to the, the to the inmates about better than themselves. I'm come on with it. You know, I know like that was some, like God really like looking out for me. Like they gave me house for us to come talk to this prison about you know about changing their life. Yes, that's a so, that's like, a unique opportunity. I know. Man. That's what I'm saying. Did they did it did it lower your sentence or what did they? Yeah, they, they yeah. gave me house arrest. Oh, okay, being stuck in there with folks now. Oh, no doubt. So but instead, they gave you house arrest. I'm entertainment gang. Like I like I don't want to just. I, I, like I want to make you laugh too. Like I like I want to give you some good music to hear. I want to make you laugh. Like if you're hungry, we can order you some food. Like I'm a, I'm a, uh, I'm what you call it? I'm like a house. Uh, what you call it? Uh, I'm a housewoman. I'm a housewoman nigga in, up in real life. So it's like I'm not just because I'm from a negative environment. I don't walk around negative. I'm I don't, I don't walk around like I I did have a chip on my shoulder till I ate it. The f I don't walk around negative game. That shit. Now. With your transition into doing different things, especially like doing with the movies, movie, just movies, really with the like music, that. like okay, well, okay, I keep saying myself like it was okay. I keep saying this. It was Fifty Cent, it was Jay Z, it was Rico Reckless, it was P Diddy, it was Lil Wayne. Like I keep putting myself up there because mm -hmm. I'm one of them niggas. It was Snoop Dogg, it was Rico Reckless. Like I'm gonna be in this forever. Whether you gonna see me, it was Ice Cube, it was Rico. You ain't catch me with a, doing a fucking, like a, a, a movie. Like are we there yet? With, 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 with like my kids like I'm an entertainer even though this is still me or you might catch me and being a fucking evil villain in a movie like fucking Candyman like I don't like I don't know like I'm just like I'm transitioning as far as like I want to do like the acting shit we doing and then with the music as far as like I know good music gang like fuck me I'm gonna draw my 20th project probably on August 31st another project on September 30th yeah. probably another project on Halloween Probably another project on Thanksgiving, probably another project on Christmas because I got unlimited music. I'm recording every day. But my music, though, I'm weak as f I know good music from other artists. And if I can use my platform and use what I know, because I read this book called All We Need to Know About the Music Business. It was written by, I think, Donald S. Passman. And I read like the newest version. I read like I read a lot of books and shit, but the name in the book, on every page to say, if you get tired of reading this book, then just go sign a record deal. I ain't never had to go sign a record deal. Cause I'm no, because I read. On oh, each page of the book, yeah, it say that because it let like, you know that like it's. They say it's not meant for you to win with, with the record deal. It's meant for them to win, not meant for you to win. Well, it's meant for you to win is learn how to do the business and win on your own. Oh no, I know. Yeah, no, I you know it's very much for help, but it ain't that. Shit. So like, I just want to help other motherfuckers that like young aspiring artists they're like look bro I come from nothing I didn't have nothing I didn't have no money to get this studio I had no money to shoot a video no money for no clothes and for some way we made it work like God made it work he helped he, he put people in my life he um, the energy of the air God uh, give you things when you're supposed to have them like if it's meant for that it'll happen so it's like you gotta try to chase your dream I'm more like trying to get them to chase their dream but if I can help them also I'm a dot connector so I know that you might need to meet and I can put you with that man or I feel like I, yeah no I understand I'm just trying I understand. to say you're, you're I'm gonna, elevate man. I'm trying to help yeah. them yeah. and grow it it's about helping people gang yeah. what to say this shit hit different gang and I'll <laughs> the whoop this shit hit different gang like it really hit different we got regular scene trying to tell you about I'm trying to help people gang yeah like but nah uh, man this has been man we ran through pretty much every question that I could even imagine except uh, I was gonna ask you did you want to talk about Blazing Dog like, what do you think about some of the ladies coming out of the, the ring? I think all they ass are always. I be watching them. Yeah. I like. I'm um, she. She. Okay, my homie Blaze Dog is my homie artist. Shout out Big Blue. That's his okay. artist. Then she like my little bugs. Like she like she like. Okay. Hey, I like her. She hard. Yeah, man. I was just watching Little Cashmere earlier. She funny as. 
like she like I like and then like you got to think like Sizzy I like Sizzy uh my uh, my sister she got an artist named Baja Banks she from Chicago uh Dreezy been my homie since forever my homie baby mama that's Sasha Gohard Chella H that's my sister like you know what I know like I support all that shit. I see yeah. Fendi just did the song with Cardi B mother and who else can I name? Oh, I'm trying because I don't want to miss nobody else. Uh, Monty the G, I see you going crazy. Uh, Amari Blake, I see all, I see all y'all, and I support all y'all. The ladies like, are going I crazy. Support right the ladies. Now. Rico Regler support all the lady rappers that's rapping in Chicago. Uh, what's uh Big Daddy Days? I don't leave. Well, I support you. Well, uh, who else? Uh, who? Who? Shot. Shot. Albert. It found the. Oh, shot from the tray. She she put me into a different girl. Then in different states, I fuck with girl rappers too. Like sexy red, I fuck with us. Yeah. Suki, I fuck with them. Like I've been fucking them before they got on. Like just on some Instagram cracking jokes back and forth. Like I support because I like to see somebody make it. Cardi B, me like when Cardi B was popping, popping hard. When she came to Chicago, did a show. Go type in Rico West Cardi B. She let me come out and rap. Well, I don't know. I know I support them. Like I love females. Like like I got two daughters. I got a twelve year old. I got an eleven year old. Yeah, if they want to rap, I'm supporting it. What you talking about? Like, yeah. you know, I know, like, that's the and 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 the females sticking together. And and, and, and ain't raw as f they yeah. come hard, them snapping. Sorry to call y'all. Y'all snapping. It's all good. It seems like, man, you would think that the guys would have their defensive up defenses up. But nah, everybody support, this man. Fuck you up. I see a lot of kids hey, supporting. If I say this right now, they gonna get mad. Niggas is the new bitches ever. This is the new niggas. And I'm only saying that because the niggas walk around in with tight ass pants on, fingernail polish on, purses on, hell, and vice versa. And bitch, we have switch on them, tough as hell. Talking about some, bitch, you gonna f to the back. We to do the thing. <laughs> so it's like, true. it's a roll reverse right now. Yeah, it's true. Yeah, the ladies got it. Hey, y'all from the ground. They got it. I said the same thing, man. I, I, when I was interviewing Mimo, man, he said the, the same. Interviewing Mimo? Yeah. Where is that Steve, brother? Where's y'all? Where's bro? Your, okay, bro. Let me tell you my Mimo out there. So, because then I tell you this, he's the only person that I, I'm gonna see and I'm gonna smack. Mimo, the only I just another person I ain't doing business with either. Mimo, Mimo, the AOKD, damn fucking goofy to me. I'm not doing business with them. And I'm gonna tell you why I'm not doing business with Mimo. And for and, and I shout out Chief Wolf. I fuck with real OTF members. Shout out Wolf, man. Shout out, man. Shout out, man. Shout out, shout out them because they doing their thing. And I'm glad that y'all took his goofy ass off y'all label because he's making y'all look fool. <laughs> so look, peace right here. Nemo did this. So after that video that you saw we did, mm -hmm. he going to feel the next day. Yeah, do do. Yeah. So I'm like, why did he say this then? You a fuck. So guess what I do? I go on King Drive. Glusty, nigga. Hop outside. So now he get mad, man. He said, my brother. So, but then I, he made the song, oh, you'll be with them steppers. Yeah. They get reckless. I'm, oh, he knew he had to say that they get reckless. Yeah. They get reckless. So I'm like, oh, hey, I like that song, gang. He, love. So I'm like, I right, man. I, I still shared the song. Right, with the, shout out Just Blow. I met Just Blow at the airport. Nigga, I'm asleep. Just Blow, wake me up, he. Reckless, gang. Yeah. What you? Me more fucking goofy, gang. Yeah. If I see you on him, I say, all right, gang. That's how I'm, Just Blow was cool. Then, what happened then? Now you talking about uh, Just Blow from OTF? Yeah, 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 yeah bro. Okay. Yeah, yeah. That was, that was, he would be, he'd be with, with Mimo. Yeah. So look, I get locked up for the last time, right? Where I do the little, the little time, right? Mm -hmm. So I'm over there with niggas from 600. Mimo, they like, hey, Rico over here. Oh, oh let's see. I pay somebody to, 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 to do something to him. They got the phone like, yeah, he front this shit. Gang, I, gang, I f with you, gang. Like, you trying to pay my fight you or something, man, he don't know that, nigga, like, like, you more all than him, you know what I know, I'm, damn, this, I'm coming, with this coming from, from his members, I'm, yeah, so, then, one time, I'm going to court, like, drop that video, y'all putting out videos, put out the video, because I saw this recording, put out the video when I had court one time, and I, and I was leaving court, and the, C, and the CEO side on me, like, look, we gotta make you go to PC, because, because you're a big rapper, and they said some nigga named, they showed me like some nigga named OTF Mimo 600, supposed to put hella money on your head in here, so people might have been trying to do shit to you. Damn. So it's up to our best interest to put you on PC. Now, but yeah. if you sign right here, you don't gotta go to PC. I sign. I'm not going to the PC for Mimo. Oh, okay, when he so did, you did sign to decline the PC. You can decline PC. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't care how famous you is, you can decline that shit. Cause I was in jail famous as I was already famous as man. Oh, I mean, like real life, like the CEOs used to be trying to, come here, boy. Like, I'm going to break. Give me some of that shit in that motherfucker. Like, I'm talking, I was getting real, like, steak dinners in this. I'm talking about for real. Like, in my yeah. sale, like, I was getting Uber Eats order to my sale, nigga. From the CEO, like, no bap. Like, I didn't, I, I'm only going to carry the real. Like, so I'm like, 
If you, why would you try and get somebody to do something to me? Like, I don't even know you for real. So you that, I'm a bitch, nigga, if I ever see you, I'm gonna smack him. Like, my sister, I, I got a play sister, like, just like my little sister. Or from the grade, like, they was dating for a minute, you hear me? Okay. She wouldn't drop a loaf for nothing. Because <laughs> she know I was gonna smack the fuck out of him. She like, bro, I love you too much. Please don't put me in the middle of this shit. Right. Like, all right, bro. Just because I know that you kind of like this dumb ass, I'm going to let this lie. But I have no respect for nobody who, because if you saw me, you folks smack the fuck out of me now or take it there or say it then. Like, look, we going to be cool in front of, instead of Steve right here, but on phone no grade, nigga, you know, and I would respect that. So instead of you trying to act cool, then the next day saying, fuck me, get your bitch ass on, nigga, fuck this thing, nigga, because it's your brother, nigga. Nah, nigga. And there's no disrespect to the BDs, because I, I fuck with y'all, fool. Eat all, fool. You know I fuck with you, fool. You know how I fuck you, know I fuck with you, fool. Whoop, fool. You know how I fuck with you, fool. Like, it's hella BDs that, fool. Y'all yeah, yeah, know I fuck with y'all. It's all love, fool. Like, 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 but me more a bitch, fool. And I, and I got to call it. I'm going to smack him. And, and I'm, 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 I'm going to smack him so hard that Lifty going to say, come on, Melvin. <laughs> I want to say, shout out a little off. Goo fast nigga try to dunk the switch. Goo fast nigga out here playing me on that Melvin. Yeah, right. That's no, all. No, no. They got a song out there saying that about me. Oh, goofy no. bad nigga out here playing you on that Melbourne. Yeah, I, that's I, like some goofy I, shit. Like you on that Melbourne shit. That's a new term around Chicago, but you on that Melbourne. Shit. I've heard people using that phrase before. You know, come, <laughs> like, hey, I heard it. You on that Melbourne, shit, man? I mean, well, that's goofy. I'll be, I'll be deep into like the Chiracology and all that. Like, all that, all that man. He I, tried to duck the switch. Now that's goof fast out here on that Melbourne. Yeah. <laughs> like, he, he need to be trying to get back. He need to be trying to get back for Lusty. Look, people out here, it's a group of niggas in Chicago. They need to be trying to get back for their brothers. Mimo, Swag, uh, Taysa, Mimo, Swag, Mimo, Swag, Taysa. Who else lost a brother to this? Ruger, motherfucking, uh, I can't. Then, then Duncan, them little brother. The, the one that's on the computer keeps trying to tag me. I gotta see it. I see you, little dumbass. So, look, we got this. Oh, y'all, the lost our brothers. Y'all, y'all that picked up a mic, and y'all better go platinum. Or how about then go somebody? <laughs> I'm just playing. Uh, that, that, that was a joke. <laughs> that was a joke. Believe that it ain't that. Open up on the way. I don't get off a rap. I'm out, but get back for your brother. He got his ass smoking. Your brother's trying to pick up a microphone. I ain't lose no brother. I love my uncle. He ain't that a dumb ballot, man. Talking about man, it's straight hey, rapping, nigga, nigga, rapping, nigga. Too, I think I, nah, but shout out to Chicago. I'm just cracking. They know I still got these records on that boy. I got you, I got but, you. But I'm um, bullshit to the side though. I want to see everybody prosper. I want to see everybody win. Now, one thing I do know is that my cousin, you all, someone rap better than all y'all. One thing I do know is that I rap better than all y'all. One thing I do know is that Freaky Party rap better than all y'all. One thing I do know is that Free My Artist Savage the Shooter. He from the Hunters. Like he was finna go crazy. He got locked up. He was. I love one music like. Nigga, where you think? Like, when is free Glock? Free, free, my artist Glock, Glock, Glock. I'm gonna say free Glock. He, he said he's gonna call too. Free Glock, nigga, Beretta D, nigga, from up on nigga, you know Beretta, nigga. Everybody's calling no Beretta. He, Glock, Glock, he the real Glock, not the fake Glock, not the halfway Glock, Glock. I be hearing niggas try to steal that Glock. If you saying Glock and you not from over there where they get that Glock, they always stole that shit. Cause my shorty, his name is Glock Father. Go type it in, real records and Glock Father. He, Glock, Glock, all he do is Glock, Glock, Glock. And that's cause he, all he do is shoot his gun. That's that glide. That's in glide. That, that, that's how his switch sound. Now, at this time, I wanted to give you an opportunity to close out by shouting out some future projects that you got coming and some things that you got going on Ooh, in the I future. Do this? Yeah, go ahead. Okay, well, first I got to promote my man. Up Echelon Beauty, man. I'm from the grade. You want to get you a waist trainer? You want to get your body control in, man? Up, look, Up Echelon Beauty, man. I'm from the grade. You got to learn, man. I'm from the grade. You got to promote your man. Put me in a Drake song. I'm promote my man. It's how it's work. Motherfucker. Uh, me, I got Cool in the Hell 2 coming out. It's supposed to come out on my son's birthday, August 31st. But my goofy yeah, ass, what's today's date? Let me see. Uh, it's 444. It, Everybody make a wish. I'm from the grade. Uh, it's August 15th. I'm going I'm to I'm try to go upload it today. When I leave here, I'm going to upload it up on, so up on the platform so it can come out on August 31st. Cool in the Hell 2. It's, it's produced by my producer and one of my closest friends, YV, aka R. Amigo. His ass rapper too. But. Cool in the hell too. That's phenomenal. I swear to God, you gonna be like, you gonna hear my elevation in my music. So it was cool. It's cooler than hell. Cooler in hell. Cause I cool in hell. hell one. Okay, gotcha. That's my birthday out the first. Oh yes. I so it's cool in the hell too. Cause gotcha. I just was cooling again. Like that. And that's and not saying I'm. It, I'm calling that because in this worst place, I was here cool. This will be the hottest place in America. I was in this cool. I was chilling. You know what I know? Yeah. So cool in the hell too coming out August thirty first. Uh. I got another project coming out on September 30th. I don't got no name for it yet, but 
I got some of the music. So September. So this time we're doing the rest of this year. We got records. Uh, August thirty first, Cool in the L two. September thirtieth, I'm dropping another project. We're gonna. It's gonna be called whatever I get the title. Yeah, I gonna get it when it's told. So two were announced on Halloween. Me and Ewa dropping Get It in Blood. For always. I swear to God, that shit's so raw. We dropping up on Halloween. Up on Thanksgiving, I probably gonna drop me and our, our amigo project because he just so raw to me. Like that nigga so raw. Uh, on 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 on, uh, on Christmas, and I'ma have probably I'm trying to do really the worst three for y'all. Cause, okay. And and then I'm playing the game now. So follow my Twitch at Reckless R E C K L E Z Z for real. Uh, add my gamer tag on PS5 Records for real. Follow my kick at Records for real. I'm playing the game for real. Go follow my YouTube. Oh, let me see what's on YouTube. Sorry. All right, baby. My YouTube, Rico Records something. Go, go follow my YouTube too, cause y'all do. My YouTube be dry as hell, folks. Turn my YouTube up, folks, for real, folks. I used to let Real Star drop out my video. Shout out Real Star, folks. But now, look, folks, this is my YouTube right here, folks. Rico Records, folks. You see, I got 17,000 subscribers, folks. Y'all go turn my shit up, folks. So I'm gonna just keep dropping my own videos. I got unlimited videos, folks. Drop that shit. I'm gonna drop the Records Renegade uh, compilation called Free the Label. <laughs> because Ewall locked up, Savage locked up, Stain locked up, Freaky locked up, Glaw locked up, my whole label locked up because they two ganged out. They two street members. But it's still wild that you're gonna be dropping five projects before the end of the year. I got them already. I got them right now. Look, you think so? Look, dude, I'm, fa- uh, I'm, I'm, I'm making a lot of music. Like, people are like, oh, and that's another that's thing too. I gotta tell my friends, I'm back rapping four times. My uncle died, bro, and that's what made me start rapping full time. This is my manager. He was like my heart gang, so he died. It kind of took the the it took it took a lot of from the gals. Okay, I was hurt. So yeah, I'm like, why didn't you start rapping? Why? Because I was hurt, gang. I lost the nigga that believed in me more than myself. That nigga made me be myself. But look though, we got this. Yeah, I'm recording. recording. You, you, you. I just I do. I, that, what I'm lame to say all I do is go to the studio. Like, my son said, like, "All you do is go to the studio." That's good. Shoot, that's good, man. I say, nigga, you, yeah, nigga, that's why your ass living good. <laughs> Shout out to my mama, too, man. Shout out to YB, man. Shout out to my mama. Shout out to YB. Shout out to her mama. Shout out to my kid. Shit, shout out to yo. Shout out to your kids. Shout out to your mama. Shit, shout out to everybody, gang. Like, I, and I appreciate it, man. It's, it's, and, it's, it's all love. And I just want to shout out to God. I love God, nigga. And shout out to South Union Missionary Baptist Church, nigga. That pastor, nigga. That nigga be doing something to me something. I like that nigga. Nigga be, I be, I feel, I have a feeling that gang. Nice, man. Nice. And you even shouted out your church. Now, with that, I wanted to thank you for coming out, man. This has been an energetic, entertaining interview. I can't even believe two hours and already just went by like mm-hmm. it did, man. That's, I was I was engaged, fully engaged. And man, I love what you do and I can't wait to see you do some more in the future, I appreciate man. It. Wait till y'all see this movie, man. Look, shout out my nigga Stax, man. Snow game coming soon, man. Records, man. For the grade, my first debut. I'm finna, yeah, I'm gonna show you what I can do for the grade. Yeah, I'm with, oh. and, and Chris Brown, for We gotta have that dance competition, for. I said, I know you've been watching, I saw you watching my story, for Dance battle. Record, records versus Chris Brown. It's going down. And regular season's out. Yeah, right.